Hey everyone, welcome to episode 32 of the Unity Gaming Podcast. It, it is Wednesday, September 5th, and I'm Richo. 5th. 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 I'm Dan. <laughs> I'm Sompy. And we have a special guest this week. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Your name is Kumar. Glad to hear. Glad to be here, rather. Glad to be here. <laughs> glad, glad to of course, hear. Of course I fail the first thing I say, right? That's I, what, oh, that, good. That was just, it was destined to happen. I'm, glad, I'm glad to hear. Could, could you imagine a podcast where you couldn't hear? You're just like, I guess you guys are talking. <laughs> start yelling shit randomly throughout it. Just smile and nod the whole time. Oh, oh God. That'd be awesome. Um, how, how do we want to start this time? I don't know. We've just been kind of talking for like 30 minutes about <laughs> yeah. nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, that just, makes for the best kind of podcast. I guess let's just kind of roll with this. Um, yeah. Yeah. What has anybody been playing? <laughs> I, uh, this last week, what have you been playing, Kumar? Yeah, well, myself, yeah, I, I, I picked up, uh, on the recommendation of Dan here, I picked up uh, Bastion on the iPad. Ooh. Which was uh, it was kind of interesting. I, I had no idea that they'd ported it over, but they ported it over probably better than any other port that I've seen in a long, long time. So it was nice to see that it was playable and it worked. <laughs> That's good. That's good. It's actually pretty incredible. The the only bad thing about it is how like kind of tinny it sounds out of the iPad speaker. So it sounds like I don't know. That's why you use headphones. How yeah, he- headphones makes it perfect. But yeah, I don't like wearing headphones. How, how does it control actually? Because it's you can either put up like a virtual joystick or you can uh-huh. play it. It's designed so you can play it with like single finger taps. Oh, okay, okay. I bad. played yeah. and ate cereal at the same time. It was beautiful oh, wow. and delicious. Wow. <laughs> it was amazing, <laughs> and it works well. It's fluid. It's so it's really really nice. Oh, not bad, not bad. Does it look at all like? No, because if it's on an iPad, then it probably looks crisp as hell too. Like, yeah, it's cool. a little. I want to say it's a little like blurrier. Yeah, for well, some reason, it, you, look, you look at it; and it doesn't run as smoothly as it will on the 360 okay. or on the on the PS or on the, on the PS3. Sorry, on the PC, but uh, it works, right? It's so also uh, zoomed out more, so that you have more like areas to tap. Oh, uh, okay. So it's not as uh, it's not as close, close following in on the kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not bad. What about you guys? Playing anything interesting? Oh, yeah. I played a lot of Mass Effect Three <laughs> multiplayer. I was gonna say if you didn't finish, the, I was like, you finished that game, Devin. <laughs> no, no, no. I I went over to Buddy's place and played like eight hours of it. Nice. I'm a little ashamed. I'm still better than you. I, you want to what? Let's fucking <laughs> right here, right here. We'll fucking throw down. <laughs> oh yeah, well, who's who's played the uh, the new DLC? That's what I thought. None of us. <laughs> <laughs> we all just go dead quiet. <laughs> yeah, no. There was actually crickets from outside. I hope that picked up. <laughs> Be perfect. Yeah, is it no. actually is it decent? How did how did it turn out? I didn't. I didn't try. No it. one played. No it. One, that's what he's oh. saying. <laughs> no one has actually played. Yeah, I'm thinking that he's the only one of us who's actually touched it. And no, sure no, enough, no, none of us have touched just it. Just like all of us. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, no. <laughs> I played a lot of the the multiplayer, but nothing else. I, I had no interest in the vibe. Then. Yeah. I still don't even know what it's about. I don't even remember how expensive I was, it is. I was gonna play it, but. Coincidentally, the week that it came out, I had just lent my copy of Mass Effect away. That's perfect. So, yeah, that worked out kind of well. You saved yourself yeah. X amount of dollars. <laughs> Ten. Ten amount of dollars. <laughs> Ten <laughs> amount of dollars. <laughs> Hi, I would like to order this T-shirt. Okay, that'll be Ten amount of dollars. You know what's really annoying though? Because I have, uh, I still have Bioware points. Okay. I have eighty of them. <laughs> what the fuck can you do with eighty? Exactly my points. <laughs> like, who decided on the? Ba- it's the same thing with Microsoft points. Where Aww. what you'll do is. They, they purposely do it. It's a marketing scheme. Yeah. Oh, totally. They purposely make you buy a bunch. You spend however much, and then you're left with the stupidest balance possible. I think so I you have to buy more. I well, think you know what I have? I have 10 Microsoft points. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I have 40. That's There's actually something have. you can buy with 10 Microsoft points, though. Really? Is there? Yeah, more Microsoft points. Can you actually? You can buy more Microsoft points. How do you buy more Microsoft points? With Use real money. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Just trolling you. Just trolling I got really excited there. <laughs> I, I, I felt your excitement. <laughs> you can get Jeez. half of a like picture. <laughs> you get half an emblem. <laughs> that's it. The bottom half of Master Chief's visor. <laughs> <laughs> the rest is just like money signs. <laughs> <laughs> There's no actual value. <laughs> just there to confuse you. Uh, I, I, I don't understand this. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> what about you, Richo? Um... A lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we, we usually leave him to the last. No, we, we keep going with this. I actually, I, I got... Uh, I, I Segregate it. Whoa! <laughs> I mean, like, oh, my games are that kind of things? <laughs> I don't know what that kind of things means, but anyway. I, I started playing Darksiders 2, for, like, for real this time. I, I heard it was a little bit of a slow burn initially, oh, but then it gets man. a lot better. The slow burn, I'm going to say, for me at least, it lasted about an hour. Oh, um, so it so wasn't that bad. I'm two and a half in, and I'm still at a slow burn. 
I I slow. guess it depends on what it weapons is. you get from the random drops. Well, Fucking the, the thing is, is the reason it's sorry. The reason it's pulling me in a lot is because I'm kind of dark souling it. I'm kind of like, yo, I could play this on normal or apocalyptic, and it's just like, <laughs> woo. And you go to a boss fight. It's like, all right, I have five health potions, the max I can have. My weapon does life steal. I leave it. I have like a sliver of health, no more potions, and I'm like, I don't know how the fuck I did that. That was amazing. So it feels really good. Oh, fair enough. I don't know. I, I couldn't. I can't get into it right now. I don't know. Yeah. It's not my you, thing right now. Should give it a shot. I got. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure I got ruined by games like God of War and whatnot. So my expectations are different. Oh, fair it, enough. It feels a lot more like God of War this time, actually, because. Wow, let's say Wraith. Uh, d- death. <laughs> de- <laughs> death. Uh, Wraith was the was the character in the first game, correct? Uh, war. 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 Close. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I had some letters right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. No. War. Uh, uh, death uh, is there actually you know. a lot faster and a lot more agile, and you can kind of do combos, throw them into the air. It's, it feels a lot like God of War. Actually, I heard he was really nice though. <laughs> like when you when you think when you think about death, I think about a guy who's gonna roll around, poke someone, and they're gonna die. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't he roll around? He's like, hey guys, can I buy? Actually, some stuff he's always a dick to someone. He's like, because there's one dude who's always outside of dungeons, and you walk up and be like, so you haven't really done anything yet, right? And it's like, okay, like the guy's like really shot. <laughs> like, well, I'm gonna go beat this dungeon, and he just walks in. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Fuck you, random guy. Yeah. He's a pretty big dick. <laughs> he is. Sorry. He is a... I don't know if that was heard properly. <laughs> he, he is a pretty big dick. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification. <laughs> I think we just filled our dick quota. <laughs> so like for, the, for the next couple of episodes, probably. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. I don't know. We should probably... change the name to Dickcast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have a hard time getting past censors. I don't know. I just, I don't, there's no censors, actually. I just I yeah, want to say hard time. Use, use <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll give it another shot, but yeah, it's. I, know, I got Borderlands two coming down the pipe soon. So. Yeah, it's th- two three weeks. <laughs> so yeah. when, what's the uh, what's the actual date? Is it October twentieth or something? Nope. September eighteenth. Wow. Ooh. So I was totally <laughs> hey, off. I was totally off. The suit lies. You don't know anything. <laughs> you guys are never gonna let this no, go. Yeah. Right? No to, one cl- to, to clarify yeah. for the audio listeners, we are all in like t-shirts and just like pants and stuff. I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> Kumar is in a full suit because <laughs> like, he just came from work. <laughs> like, legit with a tie and everything. Why, how are you going to down talk my suit like this? <sighs> just Jay-Z hold the mic again. All right. No one can see this still. <laughs> we're listening to it. Oh. We're, we're good. We're good. All right, um, everything's yeah. done. We'll no. just have a big rap party next time. <laughs> That'd be yo, horrible. Yo, yo, the, bra- the brown guy and the three white guys trying to rap. <laughs> this is not going to work. <laughs> the rap. Not even in the slightest. Unity rap cast. <laughs> Unity rap. <laughs> Oh my god! Just speak in haikus the entire time with a beat. <laughs> <laughs> just me sitting here with a stupid drum, and you guys just talking in sound. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's, all, that's all you got. Eh? We'll just loop it <laughs> right in the background. That's it. As much as I can, in, like exhale before I have to re-inhale with my allergies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if there's any like insane breathing going on in this podcast, I'm really sorry. Everybody. We can just go off the beat <laughs> of Rachel's breathing. He's actually suffocating and uh, <laughs> just trying to get his breath back. That's all. <laughs> this will be the last thing he ever does. Yeah, he's just absolutely. Into this, absolutely. Yeah, no, nope. he'll keel over. We'll just keep going. <laughs> as long as when he, as long as. Devin, as long as you know how to work all this stuff back there. Yeah, I actually do know how to work most of it. But so. yeah, we are talking about me dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing along like, <laughs> <laughs> My breathing. Uh, <laughs> Wait, Dev. Uh, yeah, you can go meet Dev. Ooh. Fucking yeah, bring it back in. So that game was really good. <laughs> how, do you, how do you feel in terms of its comparison to the first one? Did it actually make it better? They fixed a lot of random crap. Except, for, actually, there's one thing that makes me laugh about their controls. Um, it's, it's, I don't know, it has nothing to do with kind of what you were asking. Sort of. I don't know. Anyway, so when you, the, to, to execute special attacks, you have to hold down one of the bumpers. Uh, yeah. But then to dive or dodge around, you hit the other bumper. But when you hit both at the same time, you try to summon his horse. Yeah. So many, time, many times during combat, you're just like diving around trying to cash it, and he'll be like, This is no place for a horse. This is no place for. And you're like, In the middle of a combat. I have one like, question. Is his horse better than Epona? Um, you can, it's if Epona could ride out of the ground and there was no like, oh, I'm gonna stand on top of you and you trying to mash the A button to try to board her, board, <laughs> but get mount, get mount, get mount, <laughs> mount. Just, <laughs> I cut out of the thing with get. Someone write that down. Get mount anyway. Get um, but uh, yeah, it's 
You can just like jump off a cliff and then right before you hit the ground, you hit the button and like bursts out of the ground. You just land on it and keep going. It's awesome. I don't know. Okay, so it, I guess the horse is a little bit better than yeah. the answer is it, yes. But it's, exa- <laughs> but it's exactly like Zelda where you have like five carrots except for it's five glowing balls that you hit. And then it's like, oh no, I'm going slow and I'm tired. Oh um, my God. But yeah, it's... It's Death's horse. How would Death's horse get tired? Uh, Maybe he's tired of death. Have you ever been slapped by <laughs> death without dying? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, guess, I guess that makes sense. You, you, gotta, you like, gotta cut him a little bit of slack, right? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just keels over. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna need a new horse. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> shit. Yeah. So all in all, a good experience? Fun so far, yeah. Yeah? I, I've heard it's like 30 hours or something, so I... not bad. I could say it's amazing now, and like, I'll play five more, and be like, this piece of shit, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep a lookout for you next yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. It'll be yeah. interesting. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you play anything else, Kumar? Uh, I. Uh, <laughs> He's trying to lead you into something very this is, specific. I yeah. Think. This is this is a conversation that could last for quite a while. But um, I, I guess between uh, between work and whatnot, I've been pouring a little bit of time into the Binding of Isaac. Oh, so uh, yes. I possi- kind of feel like a little bit of time sounds like a weird statement. Yeah, it would it would take a long time. <laughs> how many how, how many hours are you at? Oh my god, I've put a hundred hours into that game. Like I've I've put more hours into that stupid little game <laughs> than I have into games like Mass Effect. You know, game any other type of an RPG. Like I put more time into that than I did into Knights of the Old Republic, Mass Effect. Like all these guys combined, would I you, poured more time into it. Would so. you say that Binding of Isaac has better endings than Mass Effect? <laughs> they're they're frightening. <laughs> is what I would say. They're frightening. I don't uh, remember my Mass Effect character I having think, a hanger in his eye. <laughs> yeah. No well, part of the draw is just the fact that it's there's always that sense of discovery where you just you end up finding something new or oh yeah with something different. Yeah, there's a different combination every single time. Have you so, beat Satan? I have. Yes. Okay. Uh, the spoiler, third, spoiler alert! Yeah, oh, oh, <laughs> for some of you guys, um, you know the achievement where you can beat Satan three times. Yeah, the third time I was going to beat Satan, I had half a heart left. Yeah, and the tear was going to hit him and yeah. like smoke me, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's that's part of what happens in that game, though. You get so close to doing something, and then you just get infuriated. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> I nearly fucking threw my laptop across the room. Oh, that sounds <laughs> like, terrible. Ridiculous. It's uh, it, it's very much in the vein of uh, of Meat Boy, where <laughs> oh yeah, for it, sure, it's got that trial and error sort of. So any if anyone is, is out there who's like grew up playing NES games, like the really really hard old yep. school games, this is for you. You'll have a lot of fun. So I'd say check it out. You you'll, you were you were telling me. A lot of your life. Have we ever had like an in depth talk about Binding of Isaac on no, this podcast before? I, well, I feel like we did with Devin, but <laughs> yeah. like, now would be the time considering <laughs> like, considering how much we both poured into so it. So you you've poured about a hundred and some hours. Well, yeah, or you something. you were talking to me on the phone the other day, and you were talking about how much you've been playing Binding of Isaac yeah. because you were all psyched to come on this podcast today. Yeah, and you were like, oh, I put like a hundred and thirty hours into that. <laughs> and I'm like, just just one second, just, and I looked to Devin's Steam. <laughs> How expensive is Binding of Isaac again? Two dollars? Yeah, four ninety nine. Yeah, four ninety nine. Um, and I look at Devin's Steam, and I'm like, okay, so he's played two hundred and twenty one, <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense because I'm like, I, I know how much time I put into it. He's doubled what I've put into it, oh, so it didn't didn't make any sense to me at the time. But uh, it's nice to nice to know there's other people out there who are who have been experiencing the same sort of randomness and uh, I guess frightening frightening cutscenes and whatnot out of that game. Yeah, no, it's. It's twisted. Oh yeah, no. It, it like when you have a fucking fetus that explodes. That's uh, yeah, there's a little bit uh, fucked up. Actually, there was. This will be an interesting conversation. Nintendo actually didn't let it come to their to their portable consoles at all. Really. Yeah. And uh, I know I, I can't remember the guy's last name. Is it's Danny and something? Dan. Um, Ed, the, Edmund, the actual Edmund, creators. Edmund, 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 Edmund and Danny. Right. Edmund yeah. McMillan is Ed, the guy's art director the, and creator. The dude who made it all, and, and then the, guy did the, the music. music is. Danny B. I don't know how to say his last name. It's like it's Polish, I think. He goes by like Danny B, though. Yeah, yeah. he goes so. by Danny B. Yeah. So, f- I mean, the two of them. I think they approached bigger companies. I think they even went so far as to go approach Sony, and there's talk about it coming to the PSN and uh, XBLA. Yeah. But I yeah. don't know how far they've gotten so far with regards to the process. But I know what's happened with Nintendo. And Nintendo flat out said no. Yeah. No. It's pretty fucked up when it. Well, well, the remake that they're talking about doing is actually going to be, I think, PC and consoles, and I think. Oh, I don't well, it was gonna be, they were going to call it Game of the Year, yeah, and they were going to do they were going to release it, and it was Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb, and another Wrath of the Lamb sized expansion. And there's also another pack coming out that uh, is going to be another like it's going to contain all of Ed, uh, Edward's games as well That's as another. Out. It is. Yeah, I think you, it's already. You, out. Get, oh, you get a thirty percent discount podcast, if you <laughs> Super Meat Boy. D- Devin, it's three ninety nine now. It was a dollar seventy something on the weekend. Mind you, I think fuck this uh, podcast. I'm pretty sure it made it through Apple's. Like stringent 
what? approval process as well. Like, I'm pretty sure it's coming to iOS. That's, that's, why, that's what I wanted to say. I think it is, but I'm not sure. And I, I was I, reading I'm up looking on the... at it, and I'm wondering, how the hell would that work? No, I was, <laughs> I was reading up on his blog that he wasn't going to be bringing it to iOS there was like, specifically, there but was he's going to be bringing article. a like game. Oh, like are we talking about Sumi Boy or? No, Binding of Isaac. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I follow his blog fairly regularly, and he was talking about doing something similar to it. But not specifically Binding of Isaac because it would be too hard with on-screen controls to to make it accurate enough because you do need that split second of like dodging out of the way of yeah, an I enemy so. or something like that. Yeah, but I think so. that happens with Meat Boy as well. Like if they if they port oh, Meat yeah. Boy over to iOS, I, personally, I don't really know how it's going to work because it's such a tactile game. Like you have to be precise and whatnot, and not to sound anal about it, but I don't know how I would do it with a touch screen. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think you could do it with a touch screen. I'm sure there are people out there who could, <laughs> primarily living in Asia, but uh, <laughs> the majority. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I don't think it would. I wonder if it would just it would be like well. the screen is split in half for like what direction you're running, and if you hold it down and just like auto runs, and then if you tap a second time anywhere while one finger is still held down, if it's like jump, so you can kind of like. Yeah. That'd become like a friggin' mind game of like, oh, I'm trying to switch sides, now I'm jumping. I don't know which, what, hold, what am I holding? Like, I don't know. I don't know how that would work. That'd be ridiculous. My only argument with iOS games is that there have been, there have flat out been several times where I've actually missed a button. And that's not something that would ever happen if you had a if you like, had a, yeah. like a heavy controller. controller in there. Yeah, absolutely. So I still I think I still maintain. I'm sure everyone, or at least a lot of people, agree that the 360 controller is really really comfortable. Yeah. Oh, it's but, uh, phenomenally. Comfortable. I like. I mean, personally, I like the PS3 controller too, but yes. I just don't think it's as comfy as. Oh, Rich has a PS3 side. I like, just love this thing. He was it's to just one of the controllers. PS3 controller. Oh really? Yeah. Richie, a word, son. <laughs> word, buddy. That's the PS3 controller. Are you, I was just going to ask, are you clicking on the... I, I know that sound. I know that sound. Yeah, no. yeah I love the nubs. Do you? <laughs> I was going to say knobs. <laughs> I changed it as fast. Like, <laughs> uh-huh. No, I like how smooth they feel, so... <laughs> Like, wow, like not, this is getting worse and worse. Well, and worse. They're not sensitive, so you. Can, oh, sorry, they're really sensitive. Oh, they're really God. sensitive. Unlike oh the 360. God. Dude, you've just dug yourself a hole. <laughs> a nubby, nubby hole. Yeah. Surprisingly, uh, this happens a lot on a, lot. a regular basis. <laughs> I think. The, I think the breaking record for specifically the Ricci, turning. Yeah, yes, oh, specifically. Yeah. Okay. Like turning it, it weird was like 30 seconds into the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it just happened right under the gate. You want to get it out in the open right right away. <laughs> Welcome to the dicks. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great way to get our audience engaged <laughs> five seconds in like whoa shit I gotta listen to this <laughs> yeah absolutely there must be something going on how do I hear dicks <laughs> well, if you ever change the name you've got plenty of choice <laughs> and I'm sure the chat room would, would be more than happy to give you recommendations <laughs> on how to get that out effectively yeah. wait what are we talking get a what out what? <laughs> pay attention to it though. I'm sure they'll, they'll already respond <laughs> fuck Oh, oh man! So you're you're missing four items. I'm mi- I'm pretty sure I'm missing four items of all of the items on those two. I think there's two pages, with the uh, the Wrath of the Lambs expansion. That, yeah. I think there's two pages. I'm missing four items, and I have no idea what they are. I'm missing two achievements out of it. Out of the most difficult ones, I'm missing the stupidest ones. I I know what you mean. Like it's like it's something like if you collect all the items, you get one, and then you you in addition to getting that one, you get the next one because you done everything it's else like 100 percent completion yeah, so everything it's something like that and i'm like man i can't believe i've gotten the, the hardest ones and now i just can't find those items and i'm curious as to what they are because i don't know what they are yeah that's uh, the worst part is like i was playing with a friend and he asked me why don't you just look it up yeah why the I fuck would i do, I do that, that? I, no no you don't look it up that'll ruin it absolutely ruin it yeah i kind of don't want to but see the, the problem there is that there's what 200 items <laughs> what are the chances so the chance of me finding it is obviously going to be contingent on how far I get into the playthrough, but it's also a 1 in 200 chance every single time. <laughs> I know, that's the worst, but yeah. you have to do it that way. Is it 200 items total or 200 in Wrath of the Lamb? Uh, there's uh, 150 in the Wrath of the Lamb and then 50 in the original, I yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Wrath of the Lamb is huge. Like, Wrath of the Lamb changed the entire game. I hate the spiders in that one. That's all yeah, I'll say. fuck the sp- No. Spiders, no. <laughs> I remember when Dan first got it, the guy straight up, because I asked him how it was. Like, Dan, how's, uh, how's the expansion? Uh, you know, I'm about to go into a meeting with a client. What's the expansion like? The guy, he, like, he got, he actually got legitimately angry. He's <laughs> like, I don't know what to do with these spiders, man. Like, the spiders are so fast. I don't know what to do yeah, anymore. Yeah, I can't play that game anymore because of the spiders. I turn those spiders into my bitches. Yeah, no. <laughs> Every <laughs> single time. <laughs> Spider bitches. Yep. How about you guys? Mildly resin. <laughs> <laughs> they got, they got eight arms means eight hands. Wait, if you made spiders your bitches, does that make you Spider Man? Like, just, yeah, you know, beastly. Yeah, absolutely. No, Spider Man in a suit. It'd be Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> and the brown version of Peter Parker. Deal with it. <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, I have uh, I have a couple of masks. 
So I'll wear uh, them. I'll consider wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys bring me shit, this got <laughs> weird. Oh my! Of course you would. Of course you would go that route. <laughs> uh, and you didn't. I, what, what are we even I, talking about? I probably would. <laughs> I probably would have. I can't lie. But uh, uh, okay. I have a I have a Kratos mask. Oh, that Dan, oh nice. Oh, yeah, I gave that to you. Courtesy of Dan, Dan meets up with the like the, when we were the Sony rep. Yeah, we worked we worked at a retail shop a while back, and both myself that's where myself and Dan met. And sure enough, the guy is like. He's friending up this like s- this super gorgeous <laughs> Sony rep, and he, wait guy, a wheel, Dan. Yeah, the guy <laughs> the guy calls me up. He's like, "Hey man, I got a T-shirt for you." I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Oh yeah, and a mask." <laughs> 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 what, what are you talking about? So this was this girl gave me this mask and handcuffs. Yeah, well, it, <laughs> you, got, you guys know my Kratos shirt. It's just like yeah, yeah. space. I, I got two of those. I gave one to Kumar. I gave one to Jeff. Yep. Nice. I was so happy. I actually wore it around the house for a short time. <laughs> <laughs> I was cooking dinner one day and I straight up had that thing on. And you're like, oh, every man, time you're cooking it. stuff, you're seeing like button prompts hopping up. You're like, yeah, fucking quick time event, this goddamn meal. Well, I remember I got I got uh, not uh, not skyped. Uh, I got Facetimed by a buddy of mine, and sure enough, I answered with it on, and he hung up. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he actually thought that he'd done with someone else, Absolutely. and he hung up on me. And I'm like, you're an idiot because my name was still at the top of your phone. <laughs> so why would you have hung up? He's like, I don't know, man. You scared me. <laughs> Kratos answered the phone, and I was just like, oh, shit. Well, like I said, I'll wear it next time. Complete with the suit. Sweet. I'll probably like over suit. top of the suit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you just like arrived with like a skinned Kratos. Like you literally just like found someone that looked like oh, you were my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys meant t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, so man. what else is new with you guys? Um... Uh, shit, I don't know what else I played this week. <laughs> I, I played Faster Than Light. Oh, yes. I played that oh, too, right. and I, which I was talking to you yeah, about you it last night. It. And it looks and like... We just recorded a, a dry run of it. Yeah. And it's... It's like a little battle star, sort of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, that's that's like, the most accurate, like, sci-fi show you can yeah. bring it back to. Because you're, you're commanding a single ship, and you're trying to, like, jump through galaxies to get to... <laughs> an end point that's amazing but it's all randomly generated just like Binding of Isaac and it's random not as fast paced though yeah it's much much slower because you can like pause the game and like okay I'm gonna target these weapons and like you know the kind of freeze thing you can do in Mass Effect yeah, yeah. same idea we okay. just pause target the stuff and then, like the it, and then let it go yeah uh, but it's a top down <laughs> uh, kind of RTSC control stuff you move yeah. around your crew, crew members um yeah, that game can get dangerous real fast. Yep. <laughs> and it can be seen at the end of the dry run where we nearly uh, lose the entire ship. And I, I realized something that I should not truly be in charge of a lot of people in space. Yeah, because, okay, so... It's okay. This is the simulation. This is where when space travel becomes more commercial, we'll know not to put you in charge. <laughs> so, one of... Especially the, the way it ended. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to see it, but, I, but now I'm excited. <laughs> a single room near the back engine room gets hit by a missile and lights on fire. <laughs> so I have two guys in that back area that can walk over and put it out. We're recording this, and Devin goes, okay, we should just vent that fire. And I'm like, Devin, there are, <laughs> there are people in that back engine room. He's like, no, just vent it all. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to kill my crew. He's like, oh, just, just, just vent fix it. the fire. <laughs> Straight up out of Battlestar. <laughs> That's a scene out of Battlestar. I would be a great captain. Oh my god. My god, sir, the engine room's on fire. All right, Let's hope they never put you in the CIC. <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's up. <laughs> sir, one of us spilt a drink, vent it. <laughs> what about the engineering crew? They know what they got into on this. Oh my god. I told them not to bring drinks in the engine room. <laughs> There's a sign no food. <laughs> no food or drink in the engine room. <laughs> vent it. <laughs> we'll get more on the next stop. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, man. that game is pretty great. <laughs> yeah, so. I kind of don't want to spoil what happens to the end of the dry run. So well, you we can tell what happened after the dry run. What do you mean? Where I ended up playing? <laughs> oh yeah, just coincidentally, Devin jumped to like a nebula, like three jumps <laughs> after, and amazing. accidentally suffocated the entire crew. <laughs> <laughs> but here's so the, like, the, I looked we for lost. the fire. I looked, <laughs> I looked for the fire though. You're I looking, couldn't find it because his his oxygen fire. replenishment console was down, so he couldn't. Like, oxygen wasn't getting replenished in the ship, but all of his sensors were down, too, so he couldn't see the interior of his ship. So he was running around trying to find the fire that was just sucking up all the oxygen in the ship. And so the entire crew suffocated and died while they were looking for the fire. This sounds so serious. We never found the fire, did we? (laughs) No. (laughs) 
we didn't find the fire because you lost the ship. The, yeah, the that was it. We just lost. Oh my god! So the, would... the the entire crew that I finally managed to save at the end of the dry run, they're all dead. <laughs> That's horrible. The worst is like the last one to die was Dan. We, we named well, yeah, them. we named them after us because you start with three humans. Oh, my God. So, so it's like, no! It's so <laughs> devastating. It's heartbreaking. Actually, speaking of dry runs. Uh, what? Dev, this is... <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, here's an idea. Yeah. We could potentially do a dry run where the two of us are playing the Binding of Isaac side by side. Yeah, we could do that. That would be a different type of video. We actually have Let's Plays on our yeah. channel now. I know there's no multi if there was multiplayer, I would destroy you. With my tears. Fuck you would not. <laughs> I would wreck you. We could do multiplayer. One of you guys controls up and left. The other one. Oh, no. Oh one, my someone's God. the aim. One's the move. Just do it. Yeah, but see, the aim you can control with keys if yeah. you really want. That's what I mean. But like, oh, like one's the arrows. Okay, let, me, let, me, let me ask you this. Do you play with a mouse or keys? I play with a mouse. You're a fucking scrub. <laughs> Why am I a scrub? <laughs> How does that make me a scrub? Makes me fro. Fucking scrub. What the hell would you play with the mouse? You, what, you, what if you, you like smell s- that, everybody? It smells like jealousy. Oh. That's what it smells like. It smells like bad soup. Hair <laughs> there's no there's no hair product in my hair. Way to hit me where it hurts, guys. I can't even smell right now. <laughs> no, you gotta play with you gotta play with the arrow keys. That's Dude, the arrow keys are for yeah, chumps. No, no, no. You no, know no, who no. plays with the arrow keys? You play people, with people people who can't handle the mouse. You dig? Hitler plays with the mouse. <laughs> <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> what? Wow, this escalated quickly. <laughs> I, I think there's some serious beef. We need to we need to make this happen. I, I feel like we maybe shouldn't have escalated it this way. Oh, it's, yeah. ha- it's happening. You're not getting out of this. Wow, you know what? I'm going to wear a suit while we play, too. <laughs> you want to? Fuck it. I will go get my suit. Whatever. My suit's going to look better. No. I'm going to have soup. You want to have soup? <laughs> I'm going to legit wear a full All this tuxedo. talk of suits makes me want soup. <laughs> I want soup. I will, I will go rent a tuxedo and just fucking wear it with a top hat and a monocle while I wreck you. So you're going to look like Dr. Fetus? Fuck okay. yes. So I just want to say that I'm constantly kind of zoning out because somebody linked me to a new gameplay video for Last of Us that came out like an hour ago or something. Yeah, it was and really it recent. Badass. And I'm watching it right now, and all I'm it's like zoning in and out. If you guys like, I'm gonna wreck you in a suit. I'm just gonna t- <laughs> fucking take care of your body. Like, I don't even understand what's going on. I don't know where you got. I got to take care of your I don't, body. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I'm not sure what type of fantasies you're having. This is really <laughs> distracting. <laughs> I think I think it's partly because you're excited about The Last of Us. Maybe but oh. you're, you're hearing our argument. Oh jeez. Oh. <laughs> So you gotta you gotta tone it down, I'm man. Very, I should hire very you guys. Confused. Just come into my room when I sleep and just yell things. <laughs> oh my Wait, god! Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Arousal. And we've got weird. <laughs> told you, I told you, Richio just. This uh, <laughs> Jeez. Just keeps popping out with Richio. Hey Dev, I want to go over there and smash your laptop. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's all right, all right, let's do this. <laughs> <That's> take, <laughs> slow motion. That is taking this too far. One of those ridiculous military cameras of me Whoops. smashing your laptop. Oh. I watched a. Uh, actually, I gotta tell you guys this story. Then I'd, I'd hang up your suit and I'd just oh my slowly God. like <laughs> shoot it and oh. cut it off. I was just gonna <laughs> say you just torch what, it. What if you put a GoPro on like a hammer and just hit things all day? <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, I'm watch that all there's, there's an idea. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go buy a GoPro now. <laughs> fuck! I have a. Uh, um, have... Let me just go into my eBay account. Just a second. All right. Let me just go buy. A I have a very entertaining story to share with you guys. Go for it. I think I've shared this with Dan before, so Dan, I apologize Probably. for the that's, repetition. No, that's fine. I've shared several stories with Dan. We're buddies. We barely see each other. But we, we, make, we make it a point to, <laughs> to share, share the days every so often. But uh, I, remember hearing, uh, I remember hearing something, some kerfuffle going on on an OC Transpo. So an OC Transpo is, I don't know if these listeners are all in Ottawa. But no, no, no. No, 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 no. I don't think no, no, no. Have, we, have, we have one Canadian, I think. <laughs> okay, so we do. So the, uh, I, I guess just... Uh, oh, so you transpose our bus system. Yeah, here. just our, our, our public transportation. And uh, this was back when I was a student. And I remember hearing this guy kind of, like he was just, he was saying a lot of really stupid things to a lot of the women on the bus. So, of course, I was, I was interested because I was wondering where this guy came from and what his intent was okay. <laughs> with all the stupid things he was saying. And so here's the highlight. He sits down beside this girl. She was absolutely beautiful, by the way. He sits down beside her and uh, he nudges her. So he, when I say sit, sit down beside her, like his shoulder, their shoulders are touching. He's okay. very, very close to her. So okay. he nudges her, and he says, "Hey, um, why did the woman cross the road?" <laughs> uh, I she, haven't. To clarify, I've not heard this story okay, before. Okay. <laughs> so he, he nudges her. He says, "Why did the woman cross the road?" And she doesn't look at him. He nudges her again. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? Why did the woman cross the road? She looks at him. She's like, "I'm really not interested." He's like, "Please, it'll be quick. It'll be quick." She agrees. She goes, why did the woman cross the road? She's like, I don't know. He's like, it doesn't matter. Why wasn't she in the kitchen? Oh. She looks at him, and she 
punches him in the face <laughs> as hard as she possibly can. <laughs> this girl decked this kid right in the face as hard as I, I've never seen someone get hit in the face that hard. <laughs> ever. Oh so my God. To, to, qualify, to qualify my previous statement, I've spent a great deal of time in martial arts. I, I've, <laughs> so I've, 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 been exp- I've been hit in the face myself very, very hard several times. Explains both. the brain damage. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wait, is it, is it possible this story was told as like you as the guy and she hit you so hard no, that no, it's no. like an out of body? I, I actually, <laughs> yeah, really. I'm telling you, I'm telling you this from a third person the- about myself. No, no, no. He just goes on the buses and insults women. <laughs> the, <laughs> the best, the the best part. Driver. The best part is that I. <laughs> I look Sorry, over. Rob. I look over at her, and she laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> the best part was she laughed because the guy, like he fell out. He, the guy was done. He was so done. At least I, I really appre- appreciated her punchline. To be oh my god, she, she, <laughs> she hit him. Yeah, well done. She hit him so hard, and then she just laughed. And I thought to myself, I was like, man, that's that's the kind of girl you want on your side. <laughs> that's definitely the kind of girl you want on your side. I'm not going to fight you, but this girl, on the other hand... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> my woman... Lay, she will lay you the yeah. fuck out. My woman's going to roundhouse you in the face. Oh, man. I, I didn't even see him get up. Really? <laughs> he just <laughs> left. <laughs> well, my, my, my stop was there. Uh, this, was, this was right by campus. Okay, so. I just pictured oh. him crab walking into the bus. Like, oh, my God. I don't God. know what that... Like, hmm? He was crab done, walk? man. He was so dunzy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I really oh. want to play Tomb Raider now. Tome? Tome, Tome, Tome Raider. Tome Raider. Oh, you want to play some Tome Raider? Tome Raider. I haven't heard about that. What, what, which platform is that? Has that been released on? I want to play Tome. some Tome Raider. <laughs> is, that, is that the reboot? The reboot? I want to play that, yeah. Tome Raider? Yeah, it's not out yet. I want to. You just I'm read For some reason, you guys talk about women punch people in the face. I just want to do that. Actually, speaking of cool women, uh, I actually finally started to play, uh, what is it, Guardian of Light? Yeah, I, I don't know I that. finally actually Guardian. checked out Guardian of Light. It's a little top-down shooter with... Did you, uh, did you guys ever play it? The Lara Croft XBLA game? Oh, nope. yeah. It's a little twin-stick shooter, but never it's a little bit it more... Though. It's a little no. deeper than that. Yeah, never finished it, though. But it was that was awesome when I, I bought it. that game by accident the day it came out. <laughs> how do you buy a game by accident? <laughs> okay, okay. I, I opened Yo, it up okay, to I'll see how many Microsoft points I had because I was like, oh, maybe I want this. I was like, okay, I have enough. And then I got called away to do something. So then when I came back to my <laughs> Xbox, it was like, you know how it darkens the screen after a certain yeah, amount of time? Yeah. So I picked up my controller and hit A, and it was like purchasing. I'm like, what all right. I <laughs> yeah. guess I'm playing this now. Yeah. Fuck, this better I was be like, a good game. Fucking god damn it. I was going to buy something else. Oh, well, I guess I'll just sit and play this, and I played the whole thing in one sitting. <laughs> Well, at, like least it wasn't, at least it wasn't a terrible, terrible purchase. Yeah, I was actually really pleased with it. Well, it was cool. They did a good job. Yeah. yeah. They actually did a good job. I don't remember the developer, but they uh, I'm pretty sure they were re- they were recognized It was, it was someone it. totally different yeah, they, than they all the normal I don't games. think they had touched it at all, but they got recognized. So, I mean, it was it was good to see that they at least took recognition for what they had done. <laughs> okay, I got I got to call out what someone said in the chat. What's this? Somebody said, I am a womb raider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a womb raider, as in womb, womb like a woman's womb. Yes, a womb raider. So he steals babies. I don't <laughs> he understand. Steals babies. That's uh, horrible. That's all he does. So apparently it was made by Crystal Dynamics. Oh, which I okay, think they're the ones who are making it now. So th- no, I think that was the first one, wasn't it? The, no, the people who made. Uh, what did they make? Legend as well. Is that yeah, they made they, they made, made Legend, Anniversary, too. and Underworld. Legends was the Blood. first one on the 360, Trilogy. correct? Uh, and anniversary yes. was a steaming pile of shit. Was it really? What did it have in it? It, it was the original Lara Croft, and therefore, by today's standards, a steaming pile of shit. Was she all, like, triangular? No, it was, like, up in the graphics. Oh, area. they also made the legacy. <laughs> yes, I know what you were referring to. <laughs> Triangle boobs. <laughs> that was... That, that, was, gets that me. game had, like, the weirdest, like, hit detection and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, it was... So, like, I, remember oh, I got away from this boulder. I'm dead. What? what? Yeah. Yeah. You roll, you roll on my quick. You hit, a, you hit your head If on you the actually wall. go to my Xbox Live profile and scroll all the way to the end of the games, it is the last one. It's the last one there, right? Really? Yep. Because I've played every other game before I touch that game again. <laughs> I've even played like Graw before I played that game again. Graw was a good game though. I, I, yeah, but like it's thing. like six years old. Yeah, I know, I know. Oh, you played that? You're talking about recently. More recent than Tomb oh Raider Anniversary. <laughs> Actually, speaking of Graw, have you have you tried out uh, Warfighter? Future Soldier? Future Soldier? Or Future Soldier, sorry? Warfighter. Yeah, Warfighter. yeah we, have a great, <laughs> we, have a, we have a great dry run for it. Do you actually? Yeah, we do. Yeah, well, yeah, our our sound. Uh, I cutout told you about this. Yeah, for the first reco- part of the recording, so we went back and we we're like, oh shit. Oh yeah, we you should did tell me make about our this. sounds for it. Was this one of the first ones that you did? Yeah. Mm, no, could, no, it <laughs> no, it was free. This was like the it fifth like or sixth the, one. Yeah. Yeah. We and just we just fucked up, and then we recorded <clears throat> all the sound effects. And I just kept on doing the Modern Warfare sound of. 
<laughs> you just <laughs> make them with your no- with your, with yeah. your mouth. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what we did. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so the first two thirds of the video <laughs> is like <laughs> us <laughs> making noise. Devin, do that one again. <laughs> that, that was the, that was a sensor grenade it's being like, thrown. Oh, was it actually? Yeah. I thought it was like a burst fire on a famous or something. I'll never forget when I can't remember who it was, but a buddy of mine. We should find the clip on that. He called the foul a fail. The rifle. I don't, I don't remember who that was. I don't so, remember who it was either. Seriously? But he called the foul a fail, and then I told him that I'd play him and win with the foul. And I did. And I don't think he... I, I'm pretty sure he defriended me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> he just never... He actually took me off of his list. Wow. Yeah, I was a little bit hurt. <laughs> I was a little bit hurt. If someone defriends you because you own their face, that's, uh, <laughs> that's just, a, just a wrong reaction. So I technically own the deed to your face now. Actually, speaking of ownage, <laughs> um, the the shirt that I'm wearing underneath my shirt says I pwn. Oh yeah. That's it. From pure it's just says I pwn in red letters. Is it p- from pure ownage? Is it like I pwn noobs? Like no, it just says shirt? I pwn. Did you oh, rip it okay. out? Like, <laughs> like it says, like if I undid my tie and I undid my shirt, I would show you. I, c- I can probably show you if you guys really want. But it says I pwn. In it's red not gonna play on the audio version, That's so okay. I wouldn't worry about it for now. Okay. Wait, 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 <laughs> we can do it with uh, is it actually, captioning. Is it actually like the pure ownage <laughs> shirt, like the old school stuff? Or no, no, no. This is like. I don't remember where I got it. I think I got it like when Halo Three came out. Oh, uh, okay. Like, I was right. handing them out or something. Ah, uh, oh, man, I. But I had. I a, feel so bad for all the people at the product toss for the midnight release that I went to. When when Halo Three was released. Yeah. What did, what did Why? You, what what did you do? <laughs> yeah, now I'm worried. I, had a, <laughs> I went with a whole bunch of buddies and we kind of like conquered the product toss because one of my friends is about six feet tall, and all he did was kept like grabbing shit. And I actually fought some kid over a Halo 3 watch. When you say kid, age? I was probably, I don't know how long. I met him. (laughs) The the kid? You would have been like 17, Devin. The kid was probably about 12. (laughs) Oh my god. And I legit nearly dropped this kid over. Wait a second, Devin, how old are you? I'm 22. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought you were 12. Do I look 12? (laughs) Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Kinda. Thank you. You've got a young face. Now I can't get into bars. Everybody fucking knows. <laughs> Thanks. Fucking great. They all just heard you say it over the internet. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That shit's true now. <laughs> they're just going gonna to blacklist gonna be, you. You're just going to show, gonna be show a, up in American bars. Your face is going to be there. They're just going to tell you that you're not allowed to. There's going to be a fucking Wikipedia page called Devin, and it's going to have age 12, and that's it. With just a picture of It's me. never going to change. It's going to be a picture of your license, of your <laughs> yeah. driver's license, saying that it's wrong, <laughs> and you're actually 12 years like old. photoshopped. <laughs> yep, you were born in, in the year 2000. Yeah, yeah no, no, that's, uh, that's how, uh, I, I mean, college? Holy shit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this is obscene. Must, must have done a couple things right to yeah. get to college. Yeah, <laughs> really. With Jeez. three years of university, too. Wow, wow I you did go. something right. You, just, you didn't even go into elementary school. You just oh, went, straight, <laughs> straight, you went straight to post secondary. <laughs> post secondary. You were born. You popped out. You just went straight to straight to post secondary. High school credit right off the bat. Yep. They gave it to you as soon as you left the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Enrolled you in the nearest college, nearest university. Yeah. Unless Done. you have at it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> the, and Rico's coughing. Coughing a lot. <laughs> yeah. No, that's great. Are you all right about that? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. He's slowly turning blue. So no, I'm turning like worse sounding. I uh, I just saw the cat. <laughs> to clarify for the you. audio listeners, the way we're recording this is me and Kumar are sitting on a couch, which well, is like facing scrubs. a direction where we cannot see Devin and Riccio. <laughs> it's Kumar and I. <laughs> Yo, fuck you! <laughs> you are now listening to the English podcast, <laughs> where all we do is we're going to reclassify it as educational. <laughs> yep. Can we do that? Can, can you be, imagine like seeing an educational podcast with the terms explicit <laughs> on it? <laughs> <laughs> would, that, would that fly though? To fucking learn some grammar. <laughs> How would that work? What's the? Here's an interesting. Topic. Billy and I hate the shit. <laughs> how, how, do, how does it work to, to like appear on iTunes? It, like if I, so if I decided I said, you know what, I want to talk about video games, but I want to brand my podcast as an educational podcast. You it's literally a drop down box. Yeah. I <laughs> also want it to be explicit. It's a drop down yeah. box and a checkbox. And no one will stop you from doing that. Nope. No. How hilarious would that be? If people report it, then they'll be like, well, then we should probably get rid of that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Peace, bitches. So there's actually, there's actually a policing force behind why you wouldn't, why you wouldn't want to do that. I want to say yes, but I don't think it's that we stringent. Can, we yeah. can try it out with a different... Podcast. We could just record an hour of us. Where we say, actually, there's a uh, there's a YouTube channel. Uh, what's that? I, I saw her on the Jace Hall show. You'll know this. Yeah. Oh, the hot for words, hot for yeah, words. Yeah, that's it. And all they do is they make her say really stupid yeah. words. <laughs> They've got this paper and it says pwn, 
Or it's, it says like Have a you guys new... ever seen the Jace Hall show? Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, okay. The Jace Hall show is hilarious. Is Jace Hall that bald dude? Yeah, like the guy's yeah. jacked. He's yeah. like yeah. he's a big big dude. He's hilarious. Yeah, kinda like, looks like Kumar. <laughs> if I if my head was shaved, <laughs> apparently I look like him. Yeah, except you <laughs> so, are really skinny. Oh yeah, I'm I'm skinny because I'm wearing black. It's slimming. You know how I The suit. The yeah. suit does it for you. Yeah. I'll wear a t shirt. You unbutton <laughs> unbutton that belt and you gain three hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah, it just bulges. <laughs> pops out. Wait, does, is that the proper saying? Unbutton the belt? Devin's stupid. You want a buckle? There's no button you on it. There's That's no button on like, the belt. What the hell kind of a belt are you wearing? Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be cool if your pants just Kumar, had a... let's fucking do this. No, 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 outside. Right now. Wait, 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 wait. We're on to something. We're on to something here. The guy wants a strap. If, if, if in the oh, front of wreck you. No, no, no. If in the front of all of your pants, if you just had a metal buckle thing that you just hit and it was a button and it just like, and just like went around and hooked itself up behind you and then you'd hit it again and be like... What if you had your finger in the way? You'd get your finger chopped off. How would you feel about I'm that? Kick well, that then <laughs> I'm gonna kickstart that shit. Well, then I'm gonna kickstart that shit. Kumar, fun. Kumar, I need that backing. I need yeah, it. you want me to? You want me to give you some of my investment? Cash I need hundred. So you can go ahead and you can you can develop a Jetsons belt, <laughs> which has absolutely nothing to do with anything. Well, look, I need one hundred ninety thousand oh. dollars. <laughs> if you can come up, tell you what, tell you what. If you could come up with a funding request and if you can come up with a business plan, the same way that I so the same way that I'd handle another another do, type of an investment. Do, do you realize? I can what do you're that. Getting into. <laughs> yeah, you no. think I fucking won't do I'm this? Tell, I'm telling I you, will. If you if you go ahead and you build me a business plan and you tell me your projected sales and you give me all these futures, you tell me all these different things, I, I'll actually consider giving you a bill. I, I shit. <laughs> I shit you not. That's how I had to get my car from my father. Okay. So, so I I will, will await this. I will await your project. Could you imagine? <laughs> I've now tasked you with doing something that's so completely useless. <laughs> that I, I'm what? glad if I'm glad can, that this if is you being. You can convince your higher ups to give me one hundred ninety thousand dollars. I wouldn't even need to convince them. <laughs> I wouldn't even need to convince them. <laughs> if I, I have I have other sources where I'd be able to draw funds, whether it be through equity or whether it be through a different type of investment that I hold. I would be able to fund your project. <laughs> but the thing is, I'm a hard sell, so you're gonna have to deal with this. <laughs> I'm, expect so, I'm expecting a prime so report. I'm gonna, Just I'm remember, gonna, Devin, I'm you can't spell fun without fun. I don't know why I just made the U in so intense. <laughs> All right, so you, you, so if I, I'm gonna I'm gonna woo you in the Japanese businessman way. Okay. We're gonna go for a meeting. I don't. Is this what is this devolving into? <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna go for a meeting. It's gonna be very formal and punctual. Then we're gonna go get really Duh, drunk, okay. really drunk, and sing karaoke. And I'm the a, next morning, you will have written me three or four checks. Okay, I, I, oh I, I cut out your mic for a second there, nope. so I was afraid. Now it just says. <laughs> now it just says, and you will have, and then blank out, and then checks. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. Yep. I'm sorry, Devin. I didn't know where you were going with that. I, tried to... I will own all of your I capital. just censored you by accident. <laughs> You're a dick. Oh, you so touched we, my face. I, I love how we've got active censorship. <laughs> well, oh, you've been muted the entire time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, can you, God. Can you pixelate people? No, actually. That would be thought. amazing. Can, yeah, do it. Do it. I can fog you. It's not going to matter. It doesn't matter. They can't. People. <laughs> I know no, people I know. like, this sounds really pixelated. If there's, <laughs> <laughs> sounds scratchy. This resolution shit. Well, all, all it would be, it would just sound like a bunch of chip tunes. Yeah. <laughs> chip tunes are amazing. Yeah. Devin's could be just some stupid, like, single tone noise. <laughs> wow, you're, just, you're hating on me right now. Oh, man, this, this, just, this is the beginning just, of something great, you my just, friend. You are fucking paranoid because you know in, like, three to four business weeks, you're oh going to have God. a proposal that comes across oh your desk God. and you're going to go, shit. He's going to be like, and how much is this going to make me? It's like, well, it's going to make the banks, and uh, not the banks, the, the hospitals a lot of money because there'll be a lot of missing fingers, hands. Somebody tries around their neck, they might lose a head. <laughs> and here's the best part: it's going to be nuclear powered. <laughs> wow, I am excited. It to gives you. off a lot of radiation, <laughs> yeah. and it's right near your balls. So this is. <laughs> you come up with gonna, here, I've got it perfect. I'm going to market it as the Yolo belt. Sterilize everyone who's stupid enough wow. to believe in that. Wow, Yolo, you just. Oh what is it going to be like? I used to have kids. Now I just have raptors. Like I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Oh. When did we re-engineer dinosaurs <laughs> to adopt? I don't understand. If it, it, it could do anything. Kickstarter, Come to Kickstarter think of it. that shit too. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it wouldn't be a raptor. It would just be like a child with smaller hands and oblong need, face and scales. Like it just. Like <laughs> I need four point two trillion dollars. I will bring you dinosaurs. Oh my god. If I actually come to think of it, if I could ride a little velociraptor to work, <laughs> that would be it. Would be kind of cool, dude. I would be the president of the world if I brought dinosaurs back. Actually, I think if you brought dinosaurs back, you would face an immense amount of lawsuits <laughs> because people's cars would get mangled. <laughs> no, he'd have to You're do it on the, in the, in the <laughs> middle of the ocean, ocean cars, on two different faces. islands. One of them where he'd grow them, and then one of them he'd make into a park actually, for people to view. Actually, this is here's an interesting conversation. Who I think like the the president of Virgin Mobile or something. I, I think I'm gonna get chewed yeah. up. By no, 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 no. I know that guy. 
but uh, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I'm going to get Can you hang out with him yeah. personally? <laughs> 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 I do blow with him. But uh, oh, the, the actual, <laughs> I can't remember uh, if it was the CEO of... Richard Branson? Is that his name? Uh, yeah, I think, I, I can't remember if it was him or if it was someone else though. Okay. I don't know which, who it was. But one of them straight up started examining what it would be like to bring back Jurassic Park. Oh, but and, I, and I'm not even kidding. Like, if, if people Google this, you'll find like it. Like the movie or Jurassic? No, no, no. Okay. I mean Jurassic Park. <laughs> I mean, I'm talking. The island I'm of talking, Jurassic Park. Throw out everything you know about petting zoos and replace it with this. <laughs> he straight up wanted to bring back Jurassic Park. And part of why I know he, this is Was he like, yo, I'm fucking rich, so... <laughs> well, no, yeah. I want dinosaurs. Well, the Post guy. the cost of the dinosaurs. Like, I'm pretty sure it's the same guy who wanted <laughs> to fund... Uh, he wanted to fund, like, commercial space travel and everything, too. He did that. He has yeah, yeah, yeah. He already did that. So this was... This was one of those things where he's like, he's eating waffles at his table, and he's like, hey, you know what, gold plated waffles. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bring dinosaurs back, guys. That's what's up today. I'm bringing, I'm, bring, I'm gonna post that on Twitter, see how many people like it, and uh, if I get over a thousand, done. Yeah. Wakes up in the middle of the night, I think fucking just, dinosaurs. I think, I think I'm just gonna bring back, uh, bring back the park, bring back some dinosaurs. Yeah, no, it'll be great. But there's like, there's a, a really, really ridiculously extensive scientific, like, like reasoning behind, it? yeah, reasoning behind why they want to do it, and it's something to do with. I know it's it's archaeology based where they want to try and find out what happens with fossils and all sorts of stuff. Like it, it gets so deep. But I mean, think about that. If you had so much cash that you could just say, you know what, I feel like bringing back dinosaurs today. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it'd be it'd be kind of an interesting sort of. They'd be uh, the perfect. That weapon. would be some large scale stuff. Yeah, it'd be kind of interesting. Oh. Scale. So what are what are the, what are projects that you guys are thinking about right now? Uh, what, well, what I've already challenge got, this I one? already have my Kickstarter for the Jets and Belt. Okay, your Jetson belt sucks. Well, I tried you can't use Jetson. You want to copyright. You got to right. call it something else. Fine. It's the Jetsons. <laughs> the Jetsons. Jets on. There you go. Jets on belt? Jets yeah. on belt. Oh, so okay. now it's just across the room. You hit like a remote. It like attaches itself to your like does it have, abdomen. Does it's it's have, like the Iron Man. Here's, the, here's the best be cool. part. Here's the best part. Does it have Bluetooth? Proc manager is Richo. <laughs> He's my uh, guy who makes all the ideas. Was he just I'm a tester. Was he just voluntold? <laughs> he is voluntold. Okay. Hey, if I'm getting $190,000, Richo can have about like I'm so curious bucks. as to where you came up with 190 grand. <laughs> You know, I'm so something curious. for designs, modifications. Well, he's going to need something to combat all those lawsuits. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, eh? He's going to be on the opposite end of the courtroom, so he's going to be facing a lot of them. Yeah, probably. You know, everybody's going to be losing fingers. Yeah. So okay. as a side project with my Kickstarter, I want to research cloning <laughs> so I can give people back their fingers. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I think they already have that. Uh, didn't they, they, did that they did that shit in, in uh, what's it called, in South Park. Where they started growing body parts on well, rats. Like there, there was they also ma- replaced knees with testicles. Of course. I, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that same doctor, I'm pretty yeah, sure. I so. But I feel like I'm more on that. I just, I well, just quoted South Park before I quoted the scientific community. <laughs> there was a mouse that had an ear grown on it, so yeah. that happens. And it that was... happened in real life, yet I chose to bring up the example <laughs> of, of a South stupid Park. TV show. Yeah, my foot. Oh, never mind. That was going to go really dark. Never mind. I was like, tell myself my friend died, but he came back just like in South Park, right? He's going to do that. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> yeah, the. Uh, games. Gaming. Games. <laughs> um, so, how about that Jurassic Park game? Uh, the one on the iPad? I've never played any of those. Because <laughs> I, I checked that one. Isn't that like a city building sim? Type yeah, it's thing? the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Well, mind you, I guess it could. It would be good if you were seven. Uh, I think it's a little bit outside of your uh, your age bracket there, uh, Dev. So seven, but, seven with so a credit got, card. So yeah. what you're telling me, <laughs> what you're telling me is, I need to Kickstarter a <laughs> better a Jurassic more, Park game. Absolutely, a more a more mature, <laughs> more mature rated uh, Jurassic Park game. Mind sorry. you, they, it's episodic though. Sorry, I just had to say something. Somebody just photoshopped the picture with all of us having top hats on and like <laughs> bow ties while we're sitting right now. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. This is amazing. This is this is. Best of course, mine was white. <laughs> <laughs> no, you actually, yeah, you have yeah, a white. No, amazing. you can see it. Okay, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, <laughs> got a little racy there. Whoever, whoever did that, one love. One love. <laughs> Man, this is a wicked. Uh, you guys are the chat room's awesome. Yeah, chat room is chat room is so cool. You guys have made my day. I had such a long day today. It was ridiculous. Yeah, so well, you you, you had to research my you know, proposal. <laughs> yeah, of course. I spent time doing useless, useless <laughs> projects hey, for Devin, hey. who <laughs> I hadn't even met yet. <laughs> 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 you were prepared. Oh my god! Well, it's cool, it's gonna be brilliant. It's gonna be amazing. Billion dollar industry. <laughs> yeah, you're st- stupid. Of gas electronic powered. Bluetooth belts that you that you're coming up with. <laughs> shit, just stop giving me ideas, man. I'm just jamming more shit into it. It plays music, and sometimes you hear people screaming. You know what's gonna end up happening? You know what's gonna end up happening? It's gonna become. It's slowly going to evolve into an iPod within a shoulder strap. 
That's all it's going to be. And that's already been made. Because you're going... What? So I've, I've now included Bluetooth. You've said that it's going to play music. Is it's this going to be called I Strap On? <laughs> <laughs> I strap. There is a, there is a I pro- strap on. There, I strap on. No, no, no. I shit you not. There is a product that is related to that where you plug your iPod into it and it goes to the music. You, wait, wait, what are we what? talking about? We're, a we're, strap or a strap guys, on? We should, we should verbally try to find a way to to patent this stuff because given the... I don't know. They're actually... If I just yell copyright... No, it's not copyright. <laughs> given, given the patent... Uh, there the patent there, there is before. actually I would get a laughed out of the that Well, actually, everything you guys have been saying, I've just been whispering, damn. <laughs> You've been writing them all down and actually submitting them as we've been coming up with them. <laughs> look, look at the site, La- Live Patent Maker. Yeah, we, 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 end up, we end up finding out that Riccio's got 80 patents. From <laughs> within, the, within the span of two hours, he ends up submitting 80 patents. Guys, I just made 80 million. <laughs> what, what? Oh my god! Podcast is done. Get out of my house. <laughs> Slowly playing in sausages. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> You're horrible, dude. Uh, so this so turned into the sausage podcast? Is sausages that, that, look oddly like mean? human fingers, but whatever. Uh, sausages look oddly like other shit, too. So let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's, keep, let's keep that out of this. Uh, <laughs> it's got a dangerous room. Games. Quick. Games. So StarCraft. Games. StarCraft 2. Reach Heart out. of the Swarm. When Reach is it coming out? out? Oh, okay. Beta, We're gonna, there's so much beta, stuff to explain right now. Beta oh. has started. Beta yeah, has I was going to say it's new. Yeah, so the, the, happening. the beta started for that uh, you have two to days ago. three sausages to get it. No. Uh, they, they apparently <laughs> gave it to uh, pro players, uh, casters. And Reach out. And, No. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> That's um, all. <laughs> and uh, Riccio's mentioned in the Blizzard credits. I just want to thank Riccio for... Hats off to Riccio. You made that sausage belt thing. Turns out he's made the pro- raptors he's to the, my kids. He's been the producer for StarCraft all along. <laughs> it's only I think it's almost done. What do you think, Riccio? <laughs> More units. <laughs> Tweak. What? Uh, what do you... I don't... What, what kind of units? Just More. Okay. <laughs> I would like to direct everyone who is in the podcast to the chat and look at what Black Torch just wrote. Who's this? I strap on copyright. Excellent. So he's so he's already on it. Did he beat Richio? Did he beat you to it? Um. God, I hope he didn't beat you. <laughs> We didn't beat him with the eye strap on. Oh my god, that's copyrighted. <laughs> Wait, beating someone with the eye strap on? Yeah, is we're already selling that. <laughs> Wait, like the action of beating someone with the yeah, eye strap copyright. on? Yeah, copyright. You can't talk about it. I didn't, I didn't know you could, you could patent. We're not you could ready to talk about the beating NDA. yet. <laughs> neither of us, by the way, disclaimer: neither of none of us rather are experts in law. Um, I, I beg to differ. I kickstarted my law degree. <laughs> oh my I do happen to oh know. I need two hundred and fifty thousand. Kickstarted my law degree, and I, that explains why you never finished it. <laughs> I do happen oh to know that there are actually laws. this piece of paper from Columbia, not Columbia University. Columbia says I'm a technical. Just lawyer. Columbia, like the country? Yes. You realize they're now going to come after you? Yeah, probably. <laughs> probably will. <laughs> Here's another disclaimer: We are not with him. <laughs> Too late, bitch. I like to disclaim and exclaim that. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Um, so, uh, yeah, Heart of the Swarm came out to people. And um, so I got my I, data in I'm like the worst person to talk to about this because... No, you uh, didn't, Devin. No. You have to be lying. <laughs> no. I did sign up, though. So, so as good as a beta invite for me. <laughs> they, they rejected you for a reason. No, but, they said, damn, that guy's got the <laughs> jet saw in his belt. I'm gonna give it to him. <laughs> He's got too much money to be in the beta? Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm rolling in it. Oh um, God, it's a billion dollar product. Um, <laughs> so <it> was, <laughs> you told me. I destroyed his thought. <laughs> <his, laughs> in, in every household. Um, <laughs> anyway, so um, for Out of the Swarm, I, I'm like the worst person to talk about because uh, back in October, is the, like when it was last BlizzCon, was the only time I actually heard information about it. And apparently everything's changed. Like, yeah, they've units, gotten rid of a lot of shit. Well, they well units who were cut out are now back. Things yeah, that were added are now gone. Their optimization <laughs> should really be just them changing the game. Yeah, so... <laughs> so we scrapped it. It'll so, be another four no, no. years. So, so yeah. get this. I don't know if it's legit. I was just talking to someone. It could be complete lies. I'm probably going to like bitched out for this. But apparently now, uh, for example, when you start the game, the mining, I think the workers automatically go to the mines. Yo, really? Apparently. Yo, they're called... Uh, S. CV? I know yes. how you. I know how you. To, to to clarify, Kumar's StarCraft experience is Marines. <laughs> this is <laughs> Kumar. Kumar, you and me, we're going to start a two v two, and we'll yep. see how far we can get. Right oh now, my God, pro league, pro league. Right now, we get rushed. I am currently ranked in gold. 
Okay, well, I'm in Not Tottenham. on skill alone, but because of Riccio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because you've played alongside? Yes. He, he carries me. So you cheated, you asshole. I will carry yeah. you. Yeah. Well, I'll carry you. My, I'll uh, carry you all the way into bronze. Yeah. So the further, further, to, uh, further to Dan's explanation here, I, I literally just pump up Marines. And I, I, let the, uh, I let the tacticians go to work. I let them, let them do their thing. I'll manage your finance, but I can't manage those little guys on the field. You're my investment banker? Yeah, it's not, it's not much else. I can't do much else. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so you wait around while everyone else kills each other in a free-for-all, and then you walk across the map killing everything. With yeah, it was, it was actually Marine hilarious Army. because I literally built 200 Marines. <laughs> and, uh, did I, you upgrade them all? I did, yes. I spent a great deal of time doing nothing except for <laughs> focusing on my Marines. Uh, and I would frustrate people to such an immense degree because they would be trying to... They're trying to do crazy micro and yeah, stuff? Yeah, they're, they're doing some ridiculous micromanagement. And sure enough, they see the wave of blue come after them <laughs> and wipe out every single SCV they have and then ch chase after their, uh, their command center if they were Terran. And I remember the... Uh, I actually... Against, I don't remember who it was we were playing with, but there was a Protoss player as well. It, it came down to uh, someone was me, playing you, toss. Jeff, and Pat. I think I think someone was playing his toss. It was Pat. And what I ended up doing was I ended up just destroying his pylons. Me, me, you, and Jeff were all Terran, and Pat was. I would wait toss. around because I put them on. I, I made so I made it so my Marines wouldn't attack unless I told them to. Yeah. And I would I would just keep destroying his pylons. <laughs> just so that's wait for all, that's all I was doing, and he he needed them in a particular spot. I, I don't know how toss really works, but I know they need them, so I would just kept wrecking them, and. Uh, I, I know he, he had some strong words for me. <laughs> after <laughs> after that match, he had he had quite a few strong words for me. Fair enough, fair enough. I was wearing a suit while I was playing that game, too. <laughs> he, felt, he felt good. Oh, yeah. It was amazing. He felt real good. Real professional. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. I, I, I had one purpose, player. and I did it very, very well. I wiped people out with a single unit. Oh, that, that, I, I you'd, think be I, you'd be good in a mono battle. I'm pretty sure I chased someone with an SCV, actually, at one point. <laughs> really? <laughs> and then battle cruisers showed up. So I couldn't really do much, but those were oh. my battle cruisers. They were your battle, you yes. asshole! They were your battle cruisers, jerk. <laughs> so, so I'm trying to find info. What the hell's changed in Heart and Swarm? But I can't seem to find it. So the only two things I know is that mer workers auto go to your mines at the start. Apparently, there's an icon above your main building that tells you how many workers you have. And this seems like there's a lot of changes that kind of sounded from what I heard that they're making it a little bit easier um, to deal with stuff. That's I good. don't know if I know you've watched Day Nine before, yeah. Richie. Yeah, but he is tonight. Mm -hmm. Because he got a Heart of the Swarm beta invite. Obviously. Is like he <laughs> Yeah, he recorded a bunch of games playing with one of his friends and he's just like going over them like and showing all the changes and everything. Today. Oh, okay. Okay. So I'm gonna watch that stuff tomorrow. But yeah. Well I expect that's going some... that's probably gonna start in like fifteen minutes. Yeah, from now. so I don't I don't <laughs> actually FYI, know uh, what I wouldn't what... even need to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I would just know. Just... Marine's oh, still yeah. in the game? Good. Yeah, yeah as long as the Marines are still there, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, so I, I actually don't know what the hell changed. So I can't really say anything. Just change it all. Yeah, but you know, um, you know why you don't know though. It's because they changed so much. Yeah, they've done way too much to it. Like especially just within the last couple of months or whatnot. Yeah, like, they've been releasing lists. Like so, crazy. Yeah, I don't yeah, really. I, I haven't had the time to go check it out. So I, I could say like, oh, banelings are still supposed to move underground, but apparently no, that's taken out. And then like, oh, motherships are supposed to be out, but no, apparently they're back. Hey, yeah. carriers are supposed to be gone. Apparently no, they're back. Actually, I don't know. Speaking of Blizzard, what's going on with? Uh, what did they take out? They took out the Tempest, didn't they? Yeah, they did. That area of effect thing. And they just they ripped that back out, didn't they? I think they ripped that back out. They had uh, it in, had it out, and I think it's the like transforming Hellions are gone too. Yep. Yeah, because no one ever used them. Yeah. Nope, I use them all the time, <laughs> alongside my Marines. <laughs> they don't exist. You did it exactly. <laughs> 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 Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so apparently, Tempest is still in, but fires a lot faster, according to someone in our chat. Sarge. Oh, but don't uh, doesn't do any damage. Well, Sarge is the Starcraft guy. Yeah. So. Yeah. So okay, so I need to be talking to him then. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he can help me refine my marine strategy. <laughs> I'm sure he could actually. <laughs> he, he plays Terran really well. So does yeah. he actually? You told, have you told that story on the podcast, Richie? Which one? The one time you played against viewers and it was just you oh and yeah. Left at the end? I th I'm pretty sure I did. I can say it again. I don't, okay. I don't think yeah. you so, did. So way back, I think like two years ago, I was doing a, a marathon or something, and um, I was having fun with the viewers. I think it was for a uh, anniversary for my broadcast. And uh, hold on, let me second coughing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, yeah, so then I, I was I was playing. And I was like, oh, let's do a free for all. I'm pretty sure, like, I'll probably in my mind, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna win this one. Everybody, I think, is kind of silly compared to me. And then I kind of get ready for it, and then I've I think I annihilate like one player. I think there's like five or six of us in this game. Yeah, and it it came down to you, me, and Sarge left, and yeah. I thought I was doing okay, but then you just destroyed my entire base with babies. Yeah, but but even go. before that, it was like while we were still fighting, I went out in my base. I'm like, oh look, it's Sarge. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my banelings into all of his stuff, and then like I sent like my ball of banelings into his unit. Like, this, this has been killing everyone else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I was like, oh whatever, I'll just keep doing this because everybody's kind of like maybe crappy. <clears throat> no offense, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, <laughs> no, um, you you have legit told me too much. Sorry, face. champ. 
that I am shit at StarCraft. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not even. And I was that. on your team. Oh. It's okay, Dev. We'll get him. We'll, but, partner, uh, we'll partner up. We'll get him. Right. But, but anyway, so, so I roll my banelings in, and then the second I just have this big ball of brains, I'm like, oh, this is going to be juicy. And I'm like, really excited. I'm sorry, that sounds weird. Anyway. And then instantly, as like one baneling gets into like his field of view, everything just splits, like spreads out, <laughs> explodes open, like just moves away from all of them in like a certain way that every baneling would like take out like one or like two a dudes. Perfect, just like, and like my face just drops. Like, oh shit! Somebody <laughs> knows how to fuck to play this game. I'm like, <laughs> and then suddenly it's like go back to my base. Like shit. Okay, what the fuck am I missing? Now? <laughs> now I gotta pay attention. He won. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna see. There's certain people. There's two types of players. There's players who build support units. Yeah. And then there's players who get support players. Yeah. <laughs> Sarge gets support players. Because yeah. I'm going to... So he, he, apparently he, he splits Marines like a Korean. To oh. chat. Like, that sounds really bad. Yeah, I, 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 was gonna, I, was gonna, I was planning on deferring this this particular statement to to the group here. I'm, I'm not too familiar with whether that's a StarCraft term or whether he's just got issues. <laughs> I kind of want to use that as the title for the podcast. I, I, split, I split Marines like a Korean. Like that's horrible. They're gonna come after him. <laughs> Quoted from Sarge. The U.S. government's gonna think the guy is trying to make something like I don't know he's trying to recreate Vietnam but with Koreans <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> I, um, split, I split Marines like a Korean um, but anyway so that's, that's Starcraft stuff I don't know what uh, speaking of so, so let's keep, keep this conversation going with, with Blizzard specifically sure but they had a lot of changes coming with uh, or coming to Diablo as well. Yeah, one yeah, point one point oh four drop. Yeah, I've, uh, last week I think. I know probably everyone's probably tired of hearing this, but I've refused to buy Diablo. Oh, okay, because we're, of it's, we're good again. No, me, no one that is listening to this has heard you say this before except me. Yeah, no one. So this, no uh, one is tired of hearing it. Yeah, you and me, buddy. You and me. We're, we're, we're good. Together. Yeah, because we're, we're we're okay I just, now. I refuse to have to <laughs> fund me. <laughs> I'm not funding your idea. Yo, I'm Kickstartering, not buying Diablo. <laughs> yeah. I need, I need 1.2 million. That would, million. Be, that, would be, that would be such a zero. That would be such a low cost Kickstarter. You need a, what would you need to host well, a host a, a sixty dollars to buy a different game? Yeah, there it is. Well, here's, there it is. Here's, here's your idea, dude. But I would have to get 1.2 million because Kickstarter takes their cut, and I gotta give out gifts. Oh my god. And I need to have a million. Well, if you're so, gonna ask for 1.2, might as well just make it flat, make it 10 million. That's not gonna, <laughs> but no, <laughs> these are very precise calculations, Richo. You can't yeah. just throw extra money. According on to this table with nothing written on it. Yeah. <laughs> no, you don't understand. You don't understand. I'm allotting two hundred thousand to gifts and one million. When you say gifts, do you mean gifts or gifts of just like you dancing over and over? <laughs> they're, they're gonna be the cat gifts that we've already got. They're gonna be reused internet cat gifts. Everybody gets one, no matter what you donate. I'll open it up today. <laughs> you could probably get more money if you used gifts of girls jumping. Yeah, but then that's just you know using the belt. Yeah, using the belt. <laughs> and yeah. it always ends like weirdly as they're about to get like sliced in half by them or something. <laughs> Two <laughs> birds with one stone, my friend. <laughs> There's your Kickstarter idea. Perfect. But, uh, Two birds with one stone. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Jetsons <laughs> eye strap on belt. Also, I'm not buying Diablo three. <laughs> Breast idea ever. Kickstarter. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I, haven't, I haven't really had this conversation with people. I know everyone's probably tired of hearing it, but... Uh, I, I, shut up. I, I'm, I'm not going to buy that game because it's I, a I refuse. It's a farming simulator now. In a way, yeah. Yeah, it's it kind a, of is. Like, I, I'm going to... If I wanted to farm, I'd plant some goddamn I, beans. Well, I feel like I'm going to get reamed because of what I'm about to say, but I, I'm going to... I've opted to support the vastly superior... Uh, Path of Exile? No. Now I don't even remember what it's called. <laughs> Torchlight. Torchlight. Oh, Torchlight. Oh, <laughs> Runic, yeah. Runic I was Games, I believe. Is that, is that who, who's making it? Yeah, Torchlight 2. What are they called? Runic Games? Runic, yeah. yeah. yeah, Runic. yeah so September 20th? I was going to call it Runic, and I was like, that's totally wrong. <laughs> so, so wait, wait, wait. Come September 20th, are you going to be playing Borderlands 2 or are you going to be playing Torchlight 2? Oh, we're playing both. What are you talking about? Why well, yeah, that's right. They announced the release date for yeah, Torchlight yeah. 2. Why do I have to make a decision? A-hole? Well, I... You, what? <laughs> Support my money idea... I don't know what so, I... I didn't give you an idea yet. It's I, brewing. I've Just decided, give me money to hear I've it. i decided. What I'll do is I'll spend a little bit of time with Borderlands. Yeah. And then I'll spend a little bit of time with Torchlight. Hey, okay. hey Kumar. And then I'll probably go back to Borderlands. Kumar. Kumar. You see a tease Torchlight a little bit? Kumar. Yeah. Yes, Dev. <laughs> do you want to you play Borderlands with me? Sure. Right. I'm, uh, I'm planning on getting it on the PC, though. Yeah, I, I already have it pre-ordered. Pre I already have it pre-ordered, buddy. Everyone's pre-ordered on a PC. Yeah. 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 This is amazing. I'm so happy. <laughs> You've, I can't well, tell you guys well, how many times I've had that. Welcome home. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Welcome home, indeed. Uh, how many t Dan, how many times have we had this conversation? A game will come out and Dan will be like, "Man, you gotta pick us up." 
I'm like, yeah, but what are you guys picking it up on? He's like, 360. Like, fuck that. <laughs> Man, I've had that combo Microsoft games. Microsoft can <laughs> lick my nuts. I'm going to buy it on Windows. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that Microsoft shit. Yep. I'm getting it for the PC. <laughs> Screw oh, Microsoft. Wait. I'm going to play it on Windows. <laughs> <laughs> They're not getting my money. Um, Believe it or not, that uh, speaking of that of the electronics store that we worked at, myself and Dan, I actually had that conversation with someone once. Where uh, the guy flat out thought Microsoft and Windows were two different companies. Oh my god! Yeah, I won't name names. My favorite is when Dan's had his fair share of dealing with special individuals. People know that it was Future Shop. You don't need to. Oh, okay. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Dan's, Dan's mentioned okay. this before. I uh, full disclosure. <laughs> and in the uh, remember, we're not lawyers here, people. <laughs> yeah, you yes, probably yeah. should get one. In keeping, <laughs> with, in keeping with transparency, you remember, I'm gonna kickstart my uh, law degree. Oh, yeah. But with a Kickstarter law degree, can you still practice? <laughs> like, will you actually get accepted to the bar? That's, that's another I think I just had that. I think I have to Are like, you going to kickstart every single process that's involved with you getting your law degree? Man, I can go out for a sandwich right now. Let's make a Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, in I, 10 minutes because I'm real hungry. <laughs> wait. It, it lasts to go if for I, 60 if days. I fucking did, if I fucking did that and I got enough money for a sandwich, done. I want to start a Kickstarter for like... How much does sandwich cost? Like five dollars? So you, how much? You get Kickstarter it sixty cut? days later. Fifteen percent? Yeah, fifteen percent. Yes. Yeah, so, so you <laughs> start this a is a horrible starter idea. For like eight dollars, you'd be dead. <laughs> it takes, I want a sandwich. It takes That's all it is. Six people would days. come after you so fast. <laughs> and and, and like, if you if you donated one dollar, you got a picture of me eating the sandwich. Oh my god! If you what? donated two dollars, you got a picture. Of the sandwich and then me eating the sandwich. <laughs> I, and got one, I got one for you. So and if you, you. Donated, if you donated the full eight dollars, no, 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 I got one. I buy two sandwiches. What if some? <laughs> what if someone donated a sandwich? <laughs> I do not take. I don't think sandwich PayPal donations. Sandwiches. <laughs> well, they'll find a way. <laughs> Actually, if, if they'll find a way. If you UPS it Subway to me overnight, <laughs> Subway Subway card me. Subway gift card. <laughs> Jared, if you're out there, <laughs> save me from my hunger. If, if Jared, the subway guy, was listening to this right now, <laughs> oh my god, we'd be, a <laughs> we'd be famous. What are you talking about? <laughs> we'd be so famous. Right. We'd be so famous. Oh man, no, I, I, I think, I think we actually need to kickstart or something. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You guys, you guys have to read what Serge just wrote. If you donated full eight dollars, <laughs> you'd get a picture of this shit that the sandwich produced. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sarge is on fire, man. This guy is. I like this guy. He's a good guy. He's going to be my StarCraft buddy. Yeah. You, you'd have to make the Kickstarter something like I'm oh going to be god. on vacation in New York in 60 days and I want to buy a special sandwich there <laughs> from this shop. Here's a Kickstarter for it. <laughs> People would donate just because they were confused. <laughs> they were just, they were just Why? to go away. What is this? Yeah. I donated a dollar? <laughs> <laughs> it came out of my account automatically? What? But, but, How did I get my password? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. Turns out it was Steam sanctioned. <laughs> <laughs> Valve, Valve was part of it. <laughs> Put oh the sandwich God. on sale. Half yep. off. Absolutely. <laughs> Valve's crazy with that. Here's another topic that we can talk about gaming related. Yeah. Valve has such an incredibly successful business model, it's unreal. I know, it's it's ridiculous. Oh they're my worth God, it's unreal. They're worth three billion dollars. Well I think uh, Is that accurate or are you throwing money? No, no, that was it. <laughs> that was like, <laughs> Yeah guys, I know. I know. No, no. They're, they're, actually, they're worth this I much. actually know this number. Yeah. Well, Gabe, thirty quadrillion. That's made up. <laughs> I think Gabe's worth like Gabe's worth thirty or something. No, like he's worth one point three uh, billion dollars. Is he actually? Estimated. Man, like he's he's almost half the full company. He, no, he it's owned by two people. Yeah, no, no, the I know that. The company is owned by two people. It's him and this other dude. But it's just it's crazy. Like and done. he's worth like one point three or one point five. Oh my god, I can't man, remember. Guy, it's probably gone up now yeah, with the rumors of Half Life Three. Like right now, just, <laughs> just yeah, but, <laughs> he's worth time, seven now. By the time Half Life Three comes out, we're not gonna have time to play it because we'll all have kids. <laughs> Fuck that! I'll kill my kids for it. Oh my god. Oh you my heard god. It, you heard it here Kick first. Guys. There goes Devin's <laughs> mic. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and you I heard it here that. first, everybody. That is terrible. Why? What? We've oh, never what? been this. What is. Why what is there the a f- cat on Kumar's face? There's no cat. There's no, there's I, no. I don't know why people want to put shit on my face <laughs> and get, throw cats on my head or something. Or well, no, like, there's nothing going on. Yeah. Mm. Nothing. I should just ignore yeah. my name showing up in all these. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when uh, Half Life 3 comes out, we'll all be dead. <laughs> Have you ever read any of these stories of people have written like how they think Half Life? Oh, those are don't get into that. That is actually really we, racist. Though. I think like no, no, two or three podcasts the, ago, I was talking about the E three one where it's oh, like, oh yeah, no, they we were d- talking about like Gabe Newell just his on the stage. In, like, yeah, you E3. mentioned this one before. Like <laughs> a whole bunch of like images pop up of like Gordon Freeman, the lights cut <laughs> out, and he's stuck in a trap door on the on the stage trying to get away. Like there's all this crazy stuff. Yeah, but like then they, that. you know what they do then? They, they zoom out, and it turns out that it's just the cover of some stupid snack. 
like some Half Life branded snack. I buy it. <laughs> and Gabe stands up there and goes, "Boys got jokes." And he walks off stage. <laughs> That's what ends up happening when thing, when stuff like that happens with Valve. You know they're just doing it because they can. <laughs> like weren't we promised episode three? Yeah. Yeah, a really long time ago. Ten yeah. thousand really, years ago. Really. I yeah. think I was in high school. Oh, seven. Yeah, so okay. Was I in high school in 07? No. What the hell's wrong with me? When did I graduate? <laughs> <laughs> How old I am I? <laughs> when did I graduate? What year Where is am it? I? <laughs> oh my god. I'm confused. You heard it here first too, guys. I straight up don't remember when I graduated high school. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. It's the 5th. Weird. Oh. Uh, th- <laughs> Wednesday. Wednesday. We clarified this at the beginning of this podcast. <laughs> it's a Wednesday. Oh, sweet. Awesome. So getting back to game. What's my age? <laughs> What's my age again? By some fifty-one. Some Blink One Eighty Two. Wait, it's Blink. Yeah, it's Blink One Eighty Two. What are you talking about? Not only did you screw up one, it was some fifty-one. <laughs> is what you said. Anyway, whoa, whoa, this is coming from chat room. Yeah, in my defense. Oh, okay. Anyway, but in chat room's defense, I actually forgot for a second. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> We're at chat room. You guys rock. But anyway, getting back to games. Any any of you guys ever beaten Deus Ex on the uh, which, Human Revolution? Which you know Human my, Revolution. You know my. Yeah, I thought. finished it. You know my stance. I, finally, I finally finished it this week. I, I, I remember it's looking at it. It's about fucking time, Rich. <laughs> it's been, a, it's been a little while. And the yeah. DLC. You, you finished that game over a year after it launched. Hey, Dan, did you beat the DLC? <laughs> no. Bitch. No, I'm going to hold DLC against all of us. <laughs> One that's super important. <laughs> against all of us. <laughs> you were like, hey, guys, guess what? I just platinum some game. So, yeah, did you beat the DLC? No. <coughs> well, it's like, bad. I just got 1,000 achievement points. Did you platinum? Or did you, did you, did you did platinum you that 1,000 achievement points? Yeah. That's no? going to be that's gonna be next. When Microsoft and Sony decide that they got to get into bed with one another, it's going to be, you, you're going to be able to earn trophies on the achievements that you earn. <laughs> Who that catches What? Yeah. <laughs> There's your mind blown right there. There's your mind blown. And my, then they're going to. My brain just melted a little. <laughs> By the way, I hate Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> what the. <laughs> Mind you, in my defense, I hate Nintendo. If you ever want to hear Kumar's rant about how the Wii is the worst consumer oh my God. electronic ever oh released. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started. I think it's a brilliant business decision. It did. It obviously it did prints money. That's for all it does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a prints money. It was else. so, so completely negative for the industry. It, it did the complete opposite of progression. It slowed the industry down because it dumbed everyone down. Everyone was like, hey, I'm just going to waddle my arms around and... Uh, if I hit this tennis ball, so sweet. what? What did the Connect do for the industry? <laughs> the Connect showed people how to dance. <laughs> I can love that. That's dance what too. the Connect did. So the Connect is actually a little bit more, I, and I would argue this forever. The Connect is actually a better product than the Wii, and I think it's partly because it's partnered with the 360, which is actually a solid product, except for the actual like on live. Like online, thing. God damn it, Richie! The fuck, get the fuck are you talking about? I I don't like the fact that it's chock filled with advertisements. And if you want to use connect anything, isn't? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I picture the connect looking like a NASCAR with like all these, you know, stickers all over it for for companies. No, I don't like all the advertisements that are jammed into the Xbox. Simple as that. My phone is gonna die. Uh oh, mine too. It's at half battery. Yeah, mine's at eleven percent. Are we checking phones now? Yeah. No, it's because oh, we have so the chats up on our phones. I know why, because there's games on phones. Oh. Oh, I played Burn. Plague Inc. again. You played what? Plague Inc. Oh, hold on, hold on. Plague I just want to talk a bit more about Deus Ex. So, so wait, Dan, are you the only, <laughs> are, are, are you the only person who finished that? Yeah. Yes. I ah. I killed everyone in Shanghai. That's all Can, I did. Is it what? okay to mention not what happens in the end, but what, how the ending is played out? You mean that it's four buttons? Four buttons, yeah. I, I actually the ends, fourth right? one I didn't realize it was a button. So I'm like, I'm running down this hallway. Then there was another button. I was like, really? Isn't that Syndicate <laughs> as well? Wouldn't you just press four buttons at the end? Event? You no. have a choice between four buttons. Oh. Yeah, it's four endings. So you press one this. button. Yeah, out of the four, four, and that's yeah. the ending of the game. Um, a lot of people were say they it's. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what to say. Beautiful. <laughs> were, were they colored buttons? No, but they each have. No, they're all red. Oh, okay. Why would they all be red? That means stop. <laughs> Don't press yeah, the end of the game. I would just turn my console off if I saw four red buttons on my screen. Like, Man, you actually only see three. You have to run down the this hallway. Is like, to this get is the equivalent one. of the three red lights. It's just worse because there's four. <laughs> so <laughs> Deuce X. Deuce X. Deuce. I remember Deuce. the first time I heard someone say it like that, and I just burst out laughing. Deuce X. I can't. The go sequel, back. Dookie X. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be so many ways you could spin that title around. <laughs> But it was a uh, good game, though, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was, it was really awesome. I'm really glad that I actually finally beat it. Um, I, uh, I only watched the trailer. <laughs> uh, I, that sorry. trailer, though, in I'm your sorry. defense, like... The trailer was amazing. <laughs> the trailer was so cool. I never asked for any of this. The, the trailer sold me on that 
I wouldn't have got that game if not for that trailer. You heard do, it do you know first. the one I'm talking about, guys? The, the, the like CG super one. extended the first, CG one. Oh my god! It was oh, yes, oh yes, it's yes, like yes. seven minutes long. It's actually even cool today. and like almost <laughs> summarizes up the entire game. Yep. Yeah, it I was, really it was wicked. I I really hated that I actually took so long to beat that game because I played it on the night of release at midnight for like two hours, and then the next day for like six hours, and then uh i think nine months later <laughs> <laughs> i picked it back up a little baby popped yeah, out and then, and that was child, and then he, without saying names it's like oh this person's dead but no they're, oh they're not they're not dead i'm like who the fuck is this person and everybody in the chat's like holy shit no way that person's alive i'm like I don't, who the fuck is this person <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> i just couldn't remember anything <laughs> but i'm glad i beat it <laughs> i can't go back to it i can't i'm uh i'm actually considering exploring that game do it don't highly recommend it. it. Don't. Don't. So here's the problem, though. When I, whenever I'm like, I, I don't have a whole lot of time to play. Games, okay. And when I do play them, I end up playing the same one. Nice. I end up playing the Binding of Isaac. Yeah. <laughs> well, but, if uh, you if you want a good way to play Deus Ex, you can play it like I play it, which is killing every single person who you see. Okay. <laughs> Just because. Well, yeah. I wanted to play basketball, and this guy said, "Oh my god." Oh yeah, that's true. It was normal. He played the f- first two hours of the game totally normal until something like. <laughs> Turn him into a serial killer. <laughs> just start murdering everyone? Well, like, this dude was like, hey, get into the basketball court. And I know there was an achievement for dunking the basketball. So I killed everyone in the court, piled up their went. corpses, and did a dunk off the corpse. Oh, my God. <laughs> did a dunk off the corpse. You realize this is the second time you've alluded to the fact that you like to kill things. <laughs> yeah, well, don't <laughs> listen to any of the older podcasts, then. Okay, <laughs> I'll make sure to keep, keep, keep an eye on Yeah, stay away from the first one. That Skyrim podcast. <laughs> Ooh. Skyrim's an interesting game. Ah, yeah, I, I touched that again. Speaking of Skyrim, Hearthfire dropped this week for the 360. Hearthfire. Hearth. Hearth. Do you understand the title uh, of that podcast that I said? Should, <laughs> yes, now said, I do. Yeah. I, just had a, I just had a realization of something that Dan showed me a little while back. What was this? <laughs> when I was talking to him the other day about coming on the podcast this week, I showed him to our website where the picture is like hearth or whatever <laughs> and he was like i don't get this at all and like he just had a look in his eyes right now as you said hearth fire he was like oh my god that's what it is it makes sense i get it i'm so happy it makes hearth. sense <laughs> skyrim's, see, see, skyrim's not a game that i would ever be able to get into really it, i ha <laughs> yay i'm in with you <laughs> oh, you're the same way. Like, I, didn't I, I wasn't sure what the what the happy. I didn't think I would get into it. <laughs> get out! No, get out. Yeah, that's, I was wondering. I was like, did, did my mic just cut out? Like, am I no longer a part of this? Turns uh, out that the, the, my half of this couch just goes black. Yeah. Well, he's already got a cat. Cow- uh, no, no. Do you uh, have a cat on my face? No. <laughs> we have the stream going. I have guys. a cat oh, on my face shit. right now. <laughs> There's a cat on my face. I think. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But no, no for, for 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 Skyrim. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard for me well, to even get into. You played Witcher two at the same time. Yeah, which had an amazing story. And then I went to Skyrim. I'm like, yeah, let's f- off and fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> when yeah. I, if I if I go RPG though, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick a Bioware game. I think it's just in me. I just Witcher I really. I'm, really a, like I'm gonna lend you Witcher two. Yeah, Witcher do two. it. Witcher yeah? two. Do you Witcher. like sex? <laughs> do you yes. like tits? But not like I'd rather. Do you like magical? I'd rather sex. obtain my magical sex in real life. He's saying you, you can have sex uh, with a witch in that so game. So I don't condemn or condone anything that Kumar is saying. Witch in real life. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I really want it. I'm but she sure can have someone s- I could pay. <laughs> you could kickstart that if you truly want <laughs> I could kickstart that. There you go. We got a, we got a specialist over here. I don't like this. <laughs> You'll need 200. You see the direction you put things in, Rizzio? You see what you've done? <laughs> Witcher 2 is a fantastic <laughs> It RPG. is a good game. <laughs> I will lend it I've, to you. I've heard yeah. great things. I've heard it great things. So I'd be willing absolutely to check it out. Yeah. I wonder if they'll ever make a Binding of Isaac RPG. Um, How would you do it that? It is called Binding of Isaac. <laughs> I hope that they, they, they make Sing. one. <laughs> I really hope that they make one and it ends up just being like freaking Call of Duty style where every time you kill something, it's like, challenge completed. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like crazy. <laughs> it just ends. <laughs> <laughs> just everything you do is just like, you killed a monster. <laughs> and the way you play it is... Press, holding the left trigger and then pressing the right trigger. Yeah, you have to. Exactly. It actually it goes from That's top it. down into like through his eyes. <laughs> just fire oh tears. Oh my god! First person binding of Isaac. Fucking scared. I'd, actually, I'd be terrified. <laughs> yeah, that'd fuck be yeah! I want that game. Uh, for any for anyone <laughs> yes! who's actually for yes! anyone who's actually interested, watch the trailer. Yeah, oh, yeah. that is terrifying. It's so messed up. It's yeah. so messed. Up. I don't know how these. Have guys you have you played any of his other games besides Super Meat Boy? No, just Meat Boy and uh, Binding oh, of Isaac. Oh, they are dark. Yeah, he, all, he seems all to have those a, indie games that you were talking about, Devin, is 
all in that collection. That's yeah. four. It's bucks all this, all the Slash games. Oh man, yeah, it seems to have a seems to have the same theme. Like well, they're not all dark. Things. A lot of them, they're all like uh, just not emotional, but they're all about based on emotions. Oh yeah, they're all they're emotions. all based on emotions, but they're like, not all fucked up. They're, there's a lot of weird well, ones. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what was the uh, one where he's going to planets and everybody else is completely like depressed and sad? That is a depressing. Like Pokemon. You were you ex- you were the one talking to us about that. No, that was I was a little while ago. I was playing Coil. Yeah. Before, which is like Coil. It's a <laughs> Coil like a like no. Coil Coil. Like coil. Coil. Like coil. Okay. Coil. Cool. What else could coil be? <laughs> I don't know. It's Devin. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Kickstarter project. Yeah. <laughs> the guy comes up with a Jets. What was it? Jets. Jets on. Jets on's belt. So belt. Who knows? So continue. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, coil. Coil. Is that a game? <laughs> what yeah. No, <laughs> what were you expecting to get out of this conversation? No, it was, so it was. A, it's a game that I guess is made by the same guy. Yeah. It, it was an experiment that he made and kind of played around with, and he just released it free on Steam. Okay. And it's. Um, is it also a little bit horrifying? It's being born. I don't born. know. It's really, yeah, it's being born. But, like, the quotes that are said in between loading, I guess you'll call them levels, that they're, they're really <laughs> short. They're really kind of terrifying. They're not, they're not nice, happy quotes. They're a little scary. So, I don't know. If you're looking for something that's kind of weird, try it. But I don't know. It's, it's only, like, yeah, five, five, ten minutes long. Yeah, it's, like, five, ten minutes long. But, like, at the end of it, I was like, uh, uh what? <laughs> I can see how that would be confusing. Yeah, no, it's good. <laughs> good. I like his games. I like good. to. I think I'd actually like to revisit Pokemon. Oh God, not uh. this, not this. I think I would actually consider totally the- unrelated. Dan, have you been talking to him? No, actually, I've Are been you- playing like marathoning Pokemon <laughs> games for like the last here's, month. Here's my reasoning. My reasoning behind why I would want to play Pokemon is because the game is is such a. A fantasy world of perfection. Oh yeah, no. All the, all you do as a child, you run around capturing animals in these little digital ball things, and then you go and you pick fights. Rich Shut <laughs> <laughs> That confused me like you would not believe. I, all but, the fans cut out. I was just like, oh, what? Where am I? Yeah. But that's <laughs> Why do I, I have a cat for a base? That's the reality of it. I, th- I thought. Well, I thought I. I thought you kicked me off the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just mute him. Pokemon. But uh, that's the reality of it, is that the kids literally roll around capturing little funny-looking animals yeah. that talk to you by saying their name <laughs> in various <laughs> different ways. So they're cute. Uh, they do a little bit more than the fish that I have. So <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like living a di- – <laughs> it is very much living a different life. I'm 25 years old, and I'd like to play Pokemon. Yeah, don't judge it. I have a red cartridge that I've been, been – I just played through Heart Gold and restarted my – black cartridge and i've been playing that don't know what any of that means <laughs> it's the new games oh because yeah, they're the all colored ones. yeah yeah is yeah. there a pokemon purple no <laughs> we said i would buy that i'm <laughs> sure it's coming <laughs> Dan, be just like red po- and blue pokemon yellow, the third gold and silver pokemon the third crystal. pokemon the third <laughs> fucking what are you <laughs> saying richio <laughs> it's like saints are the third they're just purple to represent pokemon what did, what did he say? Pokemon the Third. <laughs> Pokemon the Third. Is it a sequel or is it, are they just deciding to call it Pokemon the Third? <laughs> the next great title in the Pokemon franchise. <laughs> Pokemon Black the Third. <laughs> Pokemon Black the Third. <laughs> that that what what Devin said there. The next great title in the Pokemon franchise is the working title for the fourth Saints Row. No, game. it's not. Yes, yes it, it is. is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so sick. It's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, that would. Uh, that would be. Cr- <laughs> if I, if I could name Pokemon games, I'd have so much fun. I just red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal, ruby, sapphire, emerald. When are they gonna have crystal meth? <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon crystal meth approved by Nintendo. <laughs> An AMC. For your enjoyment. <laughs> Diamond, pearl, platinum, heart gold, soul silver. Uh, there's fire red and leaf green. Is, before I missed them. Is and soul then silver and white. a lighter and black silver and white than too. silver silver? What? <laughs> How is how is Soul Silver different than Silver? Because uh, their remakes, they put extra words in front of the colors. Yeah. So red and green were made into confusing fire blue. red and leaf green. Yep. And, and so gold and silver blue. were made into heart gold and soul silver. Those brilliant bastards. And then there's uh, <laughs> those brilliant bastards. They Magnificent love, they love bitches. They love making money. Those guys. <laughs> it there's, prints money. They're selling the same game twice. Is all they're doing. Oh yeah, no, that's truly all the. Well, look at the Mario franchise. Yeah, but see, Mario was awesome from one till actually. Here's an interesting conversation. I played Mario 14 last time I was in India. Wrap your minds around <laughs> that one. What? What? Mario Excuse 14. Excuse me, what? You heard me right. I played Mario 14. Which one is that one? He's a ninja. <laughs> he has a bow staff. And he picks up size and he picks up all the Ninja Turtles weapons. 
So I think it's a blatant ripoff by a company that just used thir- that that was just third party and took sprites from the actual game. It, it sounds like Dark Siders Mario edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But the guy, like, I remember my cousin telling me, oh, I love Mario 14. I'm like, what the hell is Mario 14? <laughs> and so I'm thinking to myself, I'm like... Well, you never played fucking well, 4 I know, through... <laughs> well, I know there's, there's a lot of places in India that are a lot further ahead than we are. Yeah. Just as many as... The, or just like as much Jap- as there are places that are further behind, right? Yeah, it's like Japan has uh, Final Fantasy 42 now or something like something that. Something crazy like that. Yeah, they, they, those crazy Japs, they, they love... Uh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I love you guys. I love you guys. Uh, and girls. And girls. The girls I, I tend to like more, but um, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> games, games. <laughs> so I played uh, played Mario 14, and all of the Koopas had little ninja bands, and the uh, little Goombas had ninja bands and everything. It was all it was literally Mario 3, with Mario 1 sprites, wearing ninja suits. And I thought to myself, I said, "There's no way this is from Legit. Nintendo." Legit. Yeah, there's no it's way this from is from Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. Nintendo. Yeah, that's the ripoff company. Or I guess they could just change the letter and it'd be okay. Nintendo. 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 Anyway, um, <laughs> has anybody played Man vs. Machine yet? I have I, no idea. What I that finally is. played that. T- Forces Two. TF Two add-on oh, that adds yeah, yeah, yeah. co-op. So, so I'd like to point out two things that I actually played that are like source engine-y thing. So I played T- TF Two. I finally tried Man vs. Machine. Kind of cool. It's like wave-based stuff, except for. Uh... <coughs> so get this: you can play with up to six. Well, it's six players. Uh, you, whenever you invite your buddies, you can all go into a match, which is actually just training. Which you can still get items just normally like TF Two style, from what I understand. Um. But then to play the actual game, you each have to buy tickets, which are ninety nine cents each. So it's no, per, that's per, just per, like the premium. Yeah, but, servers. but that's yeah, but that's actually called the game. Like it, other than that, it's just kind of like called it's, it's uh, what the hell? It's just training. It's a training camp or something. So just some really really crazy microtransaction. Yeah, so yeah. Well, yeah. that's what TF two um, is now, right? Yeah, the whole thing is free. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. apparently you have to pay ninety nine cents per round you go at it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you can still play the other one and still get items. Except for playing the premium servers, you get more items, you get more other stuff. You kind of, it's called boot camp. Sorry, um, but yeah. So I don't know. I found that really weird. But uh, apparently, it even introduces more bosses and stuff. So <laughs> side note, you're really good at that, Richio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, that time was the only time I fucked up. It was like mid. <gasps> guy does if crazy. anyone's wondering, Richio coughed. Not multiple yeah. times. Actually, like three times during that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Um, no, it was kind of cool. Uh, however, what I enjoyed more. Was somebody introduced me to something called Prop Hunt in TF2. Prop Hunt. Prop, okay. Prop Hunt. Prop yeah. Hunt. Prop Hunt. Prop Hunt. Prop Hunt. Prop Hunt. You want to say that fast again? Prop Hunt. Uh, anyway, so what it is is uh, it's one team. I think you think you can spawn as pyros only or... Uh, no, no. Sorry. You can be any class you want. The other team spawns as items in the world. A bucket, a hat, a, a brush, a sh- like a shrub, uh, a, a palm tree, like a... a a coffee mug, and then, like, you just hide in the environment. And you can lock yourself in the place, and you just have to, like... People define which one is you and which one isn't you. And every time the other team attacks, like, say it's, like, a flamethrower, every time they're holding down the button, like, every second they're getting damaged till they die. This sounds vicious. So you go into the map, and if you know the map by heart, you're like, that palm tree wasn't there, was it? And you try to shoot it, and it'll die if it's, like, a player. <laughs> so you have to, like, go around and try to find people, and it's fucking awesome. And you can be like a little coffee cup. You can be a fucking car. Like you can be like retarded <laughs> shit. Sounds like Monopoly. Yeah, it's it's really. I want to be the car. So like you add, I'll be I, the iron. I was playing with some people who like the, the map is only on a beach. So you're just like, I'm gonna be a palm tree. Wait, how deep is that water? I just go hide in the water and like <laughs> until somebody would go in there, they couldn't find you. <laughs> or you'd be like a little hat. You go hide in the water. That's funny. I don't know. It was awesome. So you're like, oh, I'm a bucket. What do I hide? That looks like a broom closet. You hide there, and you're like. Be next to another bucket with like, just that's like not a player, but just like an actual like prop. And you're like, this is gonna be really obvious. But it was really fun. I don't know, it was awesome. And then uh, something else that I played was actually I think it's part of Gary's mod. I think Prop Hunt is also in Gary's mod in Counter Strike or something. There's a whole lot of stuff in Counter Strike. Yeah. Uh, But anyway, so Gary's mod, uh, what it has is something called Trouble in Terrace Town. Okay. And uh, what is essentially is it's a server full of people. Uh, I think you four or depending on how many people are in the game, let's say four of them get branded traitors. Yeah. And their job is to kill everybody else without them figuring out that it's them. And then on the other team, you have innocents, which just kind of walk around and try and see who looks traitorly. 
Okay. And you have detectives. Traitor. 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 And then you have detectives, which are on the innocent side, where somebody dies, you can go up to the body, and you look at them, and it tells you who shot them last, or who who saw, or who they saw last, or who shot them last. This does sound vicious. So you kill a guy in a corner, and like they won't find the body until later, and it'll be like, oh shit, this guy's a traitor. Like, where's that guy? <gasps> Everybody tries to like find him, and then like people will slowly branch off and just like die, and you're trying to murder. It's fucking awesome. That's actually really cool. It's really cool. Um. But I was playing on Skype with some people, uh, Skin Dem and Plactor from the chat, I think. Yeah. And uh, I was a traitor, and multiple times there was one of us that was a traitor, but like, oh, where are you guys heading? Oh, you're on top of that roof? Who else is there? Oh, you too? Okay, good. I'm just going to come up and find you guys. How do you... Now you're both dead. <laughs> just, like, run off. <laughs> terrible. It was awesome. It was, Game for, it was... Games for friends. Eh? Yeah, and the funny thing is when you're dead, you can take over props in the world and you just, like, possess them. So you'd be like, I'm a barrel, and you start rolling around the environment. <laughs> We can be like an explosive barrel and roll into people, and it's great. That's it's actually a fucking fun. amazing. It's, a really, it's Trouble in Terrace Town. It's awesome. It's fucking sweet. I kind of want to really play that now. It's good. Just get like a shit ton of friends together, and then just get in a Skype call or like Ventrilo or something. Just go. Oh That's my god, sick. Ventrilo. I remember Ventrilo. Yeah. That and TeamSpeak and... Ventrilo is... Mumble. I used to use Ventrilo back when I was playing in Cal. Yeah. Oh, did you play in Cal? Oh when, my god, From Counter-Strike? Yeah, man. Oh god. Yeah, buddy, we played we played Cal Eye as I was, well. I was just about to ask, have you played the new Counter Strike at all? Yeah, Global Offensive. Oh, whatever it is. God, what do you think of it? Mm, I don't know. Really? I mean, I, I keep in mind like I came from the beta when CS first came out. Uh, like I was playing I'm, the beta, so like I'm I'm conditioned to a particular type of Counter Strike. You understand? W, like w, I don't I don't know if it's one, but like WN servers, like the fucking old yep. school shit. Oh, God, I used man. to play 1.3. Oh like my 1. God, 2. man! I remember that stuff like it was oh, yesterday. It was amazing. Oh. We used to have so much fun. Oh man, oh. I used to play Condition Zero. What? Fuck you. That was the worst <laughs> goddamn one ever. That's all I could get my hands so, on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. When you say Condition Zero, do you mean multiplayer or that horrifying single player experience? <laughs> Yo, the single player was built for people who just didn't know how to play games. No, 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 so no. bad. The multiplayer, not the single okay. player. Still, that was horrifying. The, mu- the multiplayer was bad, too. <laughs> it was. You got nothing coming your way. Yeah. This I really don't. But, but I've nearly bought CSGO a couple of times. I feel like CSGO staring. actually feels more like the old school 1.6 than it does Source and everything. In terms of, well, actually, just, like, the fucking, the way bullets fly, like, in every direction, because there's a recoil, it's all messed up, it just feels kind of like the old version to me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I played it for a little while. Dan was kind enough to send me a, a beta invite. Oh. And, uh, oh, so you haven't actually got the, like, the... the like, played against some bots. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, uh, I unlocked some achievements. Nice. Oh. Uh, that actually I'm, carries over into the real game. Yeah, honest. when you unlock the real game, it just changes it just your changes. beta over Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. And, but I looked at it, I was like, you know what, like, when am I ever actually going to play this game? <sighs> Because, again, I, I mean, I want to go back and I want to play Mass Effect again. Oh. And when I say Mass Effect, I mean Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I did that when th- Fred 4, 3 came out. That was actually like a rolling yeah, night of, like beat a, it, a played month. 3. It was crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but I really want to go back, and that's, yeah. what, like, at least 40 hours a piece. So, yeah. yeah. It's well, like, I'll, I'll have fun with that, and then I'll they get throw, shorter. In, throw, in some, long. throw in some Borderlands in there. Oh, okay. Well, you've got, yeah. yeah. I, I can't tell you guys how happy I am that you, you're getting it on the PC. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me so happy. Yeah, man. It makes me so happy. Might be able to get you on the broadcast. On the yeah. broadcast? Ooh. Ooh. Well, what do, you, what do you think he's doing right now? He's broadcast. broadcasting it live. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah, yeah, I do yeah, live streams as well. He can also well. play games I, and broadcast them. Yeah. I, I feel like such a loser because I was thinking, I was like, broadcast? I thought this was a podcast. People, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I should shoot this out to the radio when I play games. <laughs> oh, if you guys I'm, can I'm see running. this. <laughs> I'm running. But wait a second. Is it just as easy as using, I guess, Twitch TV on each computer? How, does uh, that, how would that uh, work? Uh, no, no. It'll, 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 people would always oh, see no, my screen. Yeah, and, uh, we'd all see his game. Actually, yeah. I could yeah. cast it now. I've got the time. Yeah. Yeah, but we hate you. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Is he crying back there? I can't see you. No, but I will cut you when we're done with this. <laughs> I'm going to hide his face with a cat face. He's just going to come after me <laughs> with his stupid quick starter ideas. <laughs> <laughs> just you wait. wait. Right, who, whose mic do I have to mute now? Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> you have to mute Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Glory upon the... No, anyway. Um... So, so what's the deal then? What's uh, what's everyone else like? What are you guys planning for the next little while? Do you do you have any other games you're looking to play or what? Uh, I'm trying to beat the shit out of Dark Souls on PC. Uh, the new one, like the one that just came out. Yeah, correct? prepare to die edition. Uh, I've kind of been playing that off my broadcast just because uh, it doesn't cast so well. Like it just, for some reason, doesn't run that well when I do. Okay. Uh, like the game doesn't run well on your computer. Or does it, it runs run well? magically, except for whenever I try to broadcast it, oh, I think it's something just blo- like bogs it down for some reason. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I'm actually getting through it. I'm almost actually finished it, kind of. Depending on how much I won't die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that I'm trying to finish that. Hopefully in time for Borderlands 2 and Torchlight 2 to come out. Yeah. 
Uh, wait, oh yeah, and Darksiders too, but that's like 30, 40 hours, which I don't <laughs> to be able to do. <laughs> I've also been, uh, I've still been playing Modern Warfare as well, so. Really? I mm-hmm. want to go back to try the new maps that came out on the 360. They just released wait, wait, something else They released Terminal. Today. Oh, today, I don't know about today. Something uh, really wait, brand wait, wait. new. Well, Terminal. do you have it on the 360, or are you windows <laughs> it again? I have it on the PS3, 360, and PC. Well, wow, what? okay. <laughs> actually, no, that's, that, sorry, that's Modern Warfare that 2. That was 2, yeah. Okay. That was 2. Actually, I, you, uh, should, I, should I explain this story as well? You can do it if you want, yeah. <laughs> so I, uh, I, got, I got the chance to, to actually... The reason that I have three copies of it yeah? is because I actually won the copy on the 360 and I won the copy on the PS3. Oh, shit, how? At a Walmart. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and the, the When you say thing, one, do you mean you just had... Happened to get out of the store without paying? Or? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> well, well, that's racist. <laughs> no, I didn't mean actually, it that way. <laughs> actually, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, just okay. Taking a shot at me because I'm brown. Oh, the uh, no, so wearing a suit. No one's gonna stop. Is it? it. A no- is it yeah. A, is it a knockoff? Mo- like, sir, did, did, you, did you pay for that? Yeah, yeah. I paid. Oh, okay, sir. I paid twice. Have you seen my suit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. sorry, sir. But uh, no, I I was actually I was there, like just getting lunch or something. And I remember there's so it turns out actually there's there's new developments that I haven't shared even with Dan yet so you guys are getting an exclusive. Ooh. But what ended, up, <laughs> what ended up happening was there's this guy, there's this kid standing who works in the electronics <laughs> section. So what, this kid standing there, what? In, in the electronics section. Oh, in the electronics. Sorry, God. Okay. I don't even want to know what you Fucking, think I said. We're good. <laughs> and, uh, oh God. The guy's asking. He's asking people trivia questions, okay. and he's asking them, and he's handing out movies, and he's handing out other games and stuff. And so, so picture this. It's a Tuesday afternoon at around, you know, like 1 p.m. Who the hell is going to be at a Walmart aside from, you know, like you guess, were. older people and maybe people who are just grabbing lunch because of where it was. Yeah. But uh, sure enough, he asks the question. He's like, so, guys, our next trivia question, who developed this year's Call of Duty? And it's all these, it's all these old ladies and then me. And so he's look and he's looking right at me because he knows <laughs> none of them are going to have a chance in hell of being able to figure this out. And so, uh, he, and he's waiting for me to raise my hand. So I just raised my hand. Bungie. He's like, <laughs> yeah, imagine. <laughs> God damn it. Imagine. <laughs> and uh, so sure enough, this, it was, uh, I mean, it was Infinity Ward who developed Modern Warfare 2. So I say it. I'm like, Infinity Ward. He's like, ding, ding, ding. You're the winner. And he ch- chucks me a copy of the game. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I found out. And so I found out later. Actually, I'll, I'll get there in a second. I came back the next day for the same routine. To get my lunch. <laughs> I just happened to be dealing with clients who were close by. So I went, and I, I went in there again. And this was at 3 p.m. this time. So I was having a late lunch and whatnot. The same guys there doing the exact same thing. <laughs> with the same game, asking the same questions. So he asks, he's like, yeah, so who developed this year's Call of Duty? And sure enough, he sees me. I'm in a suit. I'm the same guy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's looking right at me again. <laughs> so I raise my hand. I'm like, Infinity Ward. He's like, ding, ding, ding. You're the winner. He chucks me a copy of Modern Warfare. So, as I'm leaving, I find out that the guy, like, he wasn't even supposed to be doing that. This wasn't Walmart sanctioned. This wasn't I was gonna Infinity say. Ward sanctioned. Nothing. The guy was just handing shit out. How did he get I it? I have no idea. Was it an employee or was it? No, no, no. This was an employee. Because the guy had the little blue vest on and he had a name tag and all this other stuff. He- Whether that was his blue vest and <laughs> name tag <laughs> is something I don't know. He just turns around and like a skinned person on his but, back. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. But I actually, I went so far as to actually ask on my way out the second time. Yeah. So I asked. I'm like, by the way, like, there's a, there's a dude over there just doing a trivia game or something. They're like, oh, yeah, 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 we know about that. I was like, okay, sweet. So I peaced. And sure enough, I found out later I was there maybe two or three weeks later. And uh, I remember asking, because I, I was curious. I think two weeks later, something else had come out. <laughs> like, another game had come out. Yeah. So I was curious. I was like, hey, is there, are there any trivia games going on here at Walmart <laughs> on a Tuesday afternoon? <laughs> and they're like, actually, no. Uh, you know, we're, we're kindly asking that anyone who received a handout could please bring it back. Uh, it, it wasn't sanctioned. And oh, my and God. Stuff. The dude just broke into the video game case so and I'm, started I'm throwing curious. games. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I could... Talk to the guy. We should bring him on the podcast. Like, I, I'd love to. I'd love to actually hear what <laughs> the hell he's doing. Oh wait, hold that. on. Walmart's here. I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit! They have guns, dude. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Dev's a lawyer, so no, we've, no, got, no. we've got our protection. <laughs> right. Started my lawyer. That's okay. You're in the process. That's what counts. <laughs> Fuck, I haven't even signed we up. We just yet. have to sit in jail for 59 days. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, and then they'll let us go. <laughs> oh, but if. But if you die, there's a chance you become a zombie. And oh, Dan, did you play Walking Dead this week? (laughs) 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 Segways. Oh, woo! I started it. Oh, that's that's right. I I didn't finish it. it. 
<laughs> I really need to actually. So how about this. the craziness of what you've played so far, though? I I only just got back to like the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? You played like five minutes. Yeah, I know. I was going to ask, fuck? isn't it right at the beginning? What? Isn't it right at the beginning? Yeah. yeah oh, like wait, you played it though? <laughs> I, well, in, in his defense, I've only played five minutes too. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> but, but, it's because I just got it. So. Okay. Holy shit. That's all I'm going to say. Just fucking, I won't talk about it then. Everyone likes it, I hear. This, but this I hear, episode. They I hear it's selling stuff. It's selling. It's doing well. This episode. Trivia though. game. This episode. <laughs> I'm just going Start, start throwing up copy. There's like there's, four there's five, right? choices that... Yeah, there's five. There's, there's five, like four or five choices that you make, and it's like fucking game-changing. And you're like, what? Is <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's an iOS version too, but is it the same? Yeah, uh, from what I think, yeah. Uh, only the first episode's out on the iOS version. Oh, okay. oh really? But it's the same game as yeah. the yeah, console exactly same. Hmm, interesting. It just it takes more time but to record it. I don't like playing games on the iPad. Touch screens make me mad. Supposedly, <laughs> like, Telltale games are real good on iPad. Have you ever played Puzzle really? Agent? Puzzle Agent? Yeah. No, I've played Puzzle Games. I'll, I'll let you try <laughs> but Puzzle Agent or something. Or you That's can buy similar. it. It's, it's like four bucks. Uh, okay. sp- somebody in the chat great. says the first two are now out on the iOS. Oh, really? Oh, they released the second one? I think so. Okay, great. Um, this is for The Walking Dead? Mm. Yeah. Yep. I think you get. You should finish episode three of Walking Dead as soon I, as possible. I will do it before the next podcast. Or two. Do that, I, please. I promise that please. to you. Please. Please. <laughs> <sighs> even if you're, we don't even talk about the podcast, I want to be like, yeah, yeah. When I finish it, I'll take a picture of the stat screen and show it to you. I was on the... Mi- <laughs> I was in the minority um, for most of them, and one of them was like, what? what? It was, yeah. So we've got, a, we've got a topic for next week, then. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I don't, even, I don't even know if I want to spoil it next week, though. It's crazy. It's crazy. Wow. It's been up for long enough now, hasn't it? Well, it's two weeks. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, then. never mind. <laughs> well, episode three at least. What's the... F- here's a discussion. What's the fair amount of time to wait before spoiling a game? Three months when it's sequel is usually out. the... Uh, when yeah. the sequel is out? Like That's so. my... Yeah. What if no sequel comes out? Bastion. Then... I thought it was a wow. year. Demon Souls, you die. You die in Demon Souls? Jesus die. Christ! No, I don't know. I was gonna buy that. <laughs> spoiler alert. Actually, like a ghost. Don't you die every three seconds Pretty in Demon much. Souls? Yeah. Well, How is that a you've been spoiled. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Um, I don't know, like, but Bastion is very story driven, so I don't think it would almost ever be appropriate to spoil that game. Probably no, not. No, never. It's a fun game. Play it. Th- these guys haven't finished it. I have you guys are a bunch of losers. Hey, I've played it in two on two platforms. Okay, so have I. <laughs> uh, both of them, I've gotten to the same place. Oh, so you're which t- is? Uh, I got to the shield blocking mini game. Yeah, but you <laughs> you can do the mini game. <laughs> Like, whenever you want. Well, I got to the part... <laughs> doesn't tell us anything. Yeah, but you That's just... like three I, cores in or something. Yeah. yeah something like that. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Wow. It's a cool game, man. Play it. I... Yeah. I should do that then. Yeah, find some time to play it, because it's... They did a and really to clarify, cool. this isn't a spoiler, because it's listed in, like, the stats screen and stuff. There are 12 cores. So, if that's represented Ooh, I how far you anywhere were. Near, I had, like, five or six then. That was a wicked game. Not if you were at the Shield game. Shield game's way earlier. Or he was just being lazy and he never went to it. It's true. Possibly. I remember I spent a, <laughs> a lot of time. The Shield thing. game's the only one I ever never beat because oh, you I don't actually get it. stuff out of it. You just get money. Yeah. Yeah. The money's well, cool. Well, fragments. Though. Fragments are cool. Of the old world. F- fragments of the old world are cool. <laughs> you spend them on fragments of the new world. <laughs> Upgrade your ship. I want to trade in this old ship for something new. <laughs> yeah, we do that. We're the Bastion. Oh, oh. We are the Bastion. We are Bastion. <laughs> Bastion stores opening now. Trading your old shit, new shit. <laughs> Sounds like a little pawn shop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is a pawn shop. Yeah, that is a pawn shop. That is exactly <laughs> what a pawn shop is. So, so I got to ask them to, to Kumar. Um, yep. What are your thoughts on MMOs for PC if you play PC gaming? I don't like MMOs. You don't like MMOs? Okay. I don't like MMOs. I, uh, I just, Where's I that know. mic button? Where's that? Well, say goodbye to Kumar. Well, right see, the, the reason I don't like him is just because for me, and it's specifically just because of the way that I play games, I wouldn't play it past the actual story. Uh, yeah. Or I would go back and want to redo it. Apparently. So I understand questing is fun and all this other stuff. But for me, I'd rather... like I, I love the way that games are written. It's, it's just something that I have an appreciation for. Mm-hmm. So personally... Is that the why you love Bioware? Yeah, it's part of why... And it's the exact reason why I've played through the second Mass Effect 14 times. Like It's, you know, it's part of why I've, I've played their games extensively. Fair enough. I so, would... I would say if you like storylines in MMOs, or not MMOs, in games, maybe 
check out Guild Wars 2? Maybe. Thank God you didn't say wow. No. <laughs> the lore in that. He would have muted his own stuff. mic by destroying it. <laughs> heard a fizzle? What was that? <laughs> Sounds like you're eating it. <laughs> I'm out. I'm done. I'm done, guys. I'm done. Peace. Does it feel like you guys have a pen in your eye, too? <laughs> no. <laughs> Ninja, you guys. Yeah, I just... Uh, I don't know. I, uh, I, it's, MMOs are just not something I, I don't see myself ever getting into. It's funny, actually. There's one of my friends who felt the same way, uh, and he just picked up. I, I'm not trying to pander to Guild Wars Two or anything. I'm just saying. It's kind uh-huh. of like, I'm not. Whatever. <laughs> he's, Point is, he's, it's, he, paid. he's like, I'm never. I'm, he's like, I'm never gonna. Well, I don't know if he said he's never gonna play an MMO, but he started playing it, and then like the past few days have been like, dude, just I, converted. I can't, it. I can't fucking stop. <laughs> but. He still thinks, like, oh, I'm never going to play WoW. That shit looks stupid. <laughs> WoW's, got its, WoW's got its place. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. yeah. WoW changed a lot of what people were expecting at a PC game specifically. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to... I, don't get me wrong. MMOs have their place. Yeah. Just not with me. <laughs> but, well, fair enough. <laughs> the, the, the only reason I kind of like Guild Wars so far is I played a bit more PvP yesterday, and it kind of feels like the count... Like, uh, Counter-Strike is a terrible thing. It has nothing to do with Counter-Strike. But it's like, <laughs> you go into the PvP, it's like, hey, here's a server browser. Hey, you pick this, you lo- load in, and then it just goes like map to map to map to map to yeah. map to map to map. It just keeps going and it's, it's fucking sweet yeah it's awesome scoreboards there. like i said the gameplay the gameplay is there for them but again, yeah I, I mean i'm not not your style yeah it's just not something i'm you don't like tab for. one two three four five tab 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 tab, tab oh five, i get five, i get five, really tab, surgical tab, tab, with uh with, and dan can attest to this but i get surgical when it comes to twitch gaming oh god <laughs> dan uh, dan knows about this yeah we had a, we had a geometry wars fiasco a couple of times are, are you geometry wars guy i am yes, yes. He is. The, the, wait, is this like belt beating person? We're talking. I was, I was yes. like six. I was like six hundredth <laughs> in the world. In, really? Jesus. Yeah. In, in the first one, I was like six hundredth. Th- this one, is this is the dude, Richio, that I told you about who crushed his <laughs> rival score by <laughs> about ten million. It was more than that because I remember Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Oh, that's right. You were guys. You were like. It was five million, six million, seven million, eight 50. million, fifty million. <laughs> that's right. Really? Yeah, Jeff. Holy uh, shit! One, one of our one of our buddies. He he went so far as to start to start talking smack and and saying this that he was. This is when we were working in Future Shop. Yeah, he's he, you know so going through the usual paces. I'm a better player. This and that. The, these would happen over the course of like. There's probably only like an hour of game time. Yeah, in here, absolutely, absolutely. But it happened over the course of like a month because <laughs> they would only talk during their shifts. Yep, oh, yeah, absolutely. And it was always just the same argument. It was always the same argument. So for a little while, throughout that whole month, the guy's sending me text messages or picture messages of him, you know, up one upping me, and so sure enough. I'd go ahead and actually this was this was Geometry Wars two. Yeah. So what he would end well, up doing? You guys were playing pacifism. Pacif- yeah. Wow. And so shit. Beat him in, beat him in pacifism, <laughs> and then he said, you know, screw pacifism. I don't like it. And he went ahead and he and he beat every one of my scores in every other game mode. He literally went through and he topped all of them. And then I went back and I toppled them, like just a ridiculous. And and the the actual the leaderboard is still there, <laughs> so you can see. You can actually. Do you remember what we see. also did when we were at Jess's house? You played on her account and beat all of yeah, the scores <laughs> under her. Account so what too. I did was like, yeah, under her, uh, under her uh, gamer tag, I went ahead and I beat all of his scores too. <laughs> so That's now what was terrible? That? And they were they were always scores that he couldn't get. <laughs> so he had you know, and he always said that she sucked and everything, and she wasn't any good. So it was funny because now he's seeing he's seeing me devastate his scores, and then he's seeing someone else who he's always been able to beat. Also devastating his scores. <laughs> so the guy stopped playing. Really? <laughs> he doesn't play that game anymore. That's he just doesn't play. Terrible. It was hilarious. Oh my god, that's actually amazing. So, so yes, Riccio, the guy with the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Did you show him the leaderboard? Is that what happened? No. No. Oh, okay. I'll, we'll show you something after. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you need to see the leaderboards. The leaderboards are pretty funny. All right. And All you right. can actually, it's funny because you can actually see when Jeff stopped playing. <laughs> you can actively see like when the guy was just like, yep, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, That's man. pretty impressive. It was fun. Geometry Wars is a cool game. So I guess we'll move on. Yeah, do you guys want to hop news. into news and stuff? Yeah. yeah we'll we'll no doubt spark more debate stuff, but whatever. Um, <laughs> so more Kickstarters. Well, yeah. <laughs> Ubisoft is kickstarting, scrapping, always. No. no. So Ubisoft <laughs> is, is uh, scrapping, always on DRM for it's PC games. It's about time. Yeah, Jeez, really. It's about time. Remember, yeah. 93% of PC games are yeah. pirated. Hey, guys, 90, 93 to 90. What was it? like? 90, his yeah. quote was like 92 to 94% or something. Yeah, yeah. I am the 6% that bought Future Soldier and such. <laughs> yeah, and apparently, like, I look at that and I'm like, dude, that's, a f- that's incredibly offensive. Because it's like, you realize there's a lot of people who want to support games. 
and you're shitting on them by, by telling them. <laughs> well, that... No, no, we did, everybody steals. Well, yeah, did you hear what so they did dumb. with Future Soldier? What no. was this? So uh, the entire console versions came out, and then they they hired an an out of country, I believe. If don't quote me on that one, an out of country six person team to redo the PC one. Why? <laughs> Only six people. And that's why it came out and was fucking busted. Oh, okay. I didn't know that it was broken. Wow. Yeah, it was broken. Oh, yeah, it was. It ran like shit, and like it was not even using things. You could, in the options menu, there was no like apply, so you change the graphics and it would do shit. <laughs> <laughs> there was no apply button. Well, there was, but it did, no, actually no. It was just, didn't actually it was just do okay. Yeah, or back out. And that's horrible. Nothing happened. It's so horrible. It was, it was broken as shit. And then like good job, guys. Now it's been like it, I think it was two weeks ago, so maybe three months after it came out, it was like oh Jesus patch done, everything fixed, everything works. So Jesus patch, I like that. But uh, <laughs> it it, it brought it back to life. <laughs> no, but it was. Uh, yeah, it's if if they're like, yo, everyone's pirating our games. Let's throw six people at a PC version. Like, of course, people are gonna fucking get pissed at that. Yeah, no it kidding. Work. They're gonna just stop buying their games. It's the same thing as uh, I actually look at like I look at Modern Warfare a lot just because I hate Activision. Yeah, uh, I think they're a horrible publisher. I, I don't like the way that they do business. Mm -hmm. And you know, time and time again, what they've ended up doing is releasing broken games. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you look at the multiplayer from Modern Warfare Two, and every hack that people were using in Modern Warfare Two was available day one I, when Modern Warfare 3 was Yeah, I know. All, hey, you can have buttons in your names and everything. So, oh, my God. Fuck? It was so dumb. I was like, man, like you guys, like, why wouldn't you fix this? Stop focusing on releasing map packs. Focus on the people who actually put you where you are and try to release it. And leave the glitches people. that are kind of hilarious and fun in the game. Like yeah. the javelin glitch. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the boom shield glitch in Gears of War 2. Yeah. That was yeah. manageable, but also awesome. Yep. <laughs> it would make people so mad. <laughs> it would make people so mad. Mind you, the tack knife makes people really mad. Yeah, too. the tack knife did make people. <laughs> the tack knife is probably has probably single handedly increased the number of rage quitters. Oh, for <laughs> sure. And I think on all consoles. <laughs> sure. Is the tack knife faster Rage stabbing or is it oh, yeah, throwing yeah. no 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 the tack knife is it's like the faster so you're, stab on the yeah you're pistol. holding a pistol and you've got a knife yeah. underneath okay. I would play free for all matches and just run around with that. Nice. You put on the unlimited sprint, yep. the no fall damage, and tack knife. And I would go maybe 36 and 1. I actually used to play Call of Duty 4 on <laughs> PC and just have the... I don't even want to fuck. There was like Sprint and there was one that made your stabs go farther. And then there was like no footsteps. Yeah, and I just yeah. play with my friends and just sprint and stab people in the face. Just nothing else. <laughs> and I'd always come out with like a positive KDR. Those right. were yep. like Ninja Extreme Conditioning and Commando. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Just, like, yep. just hopped around the map. Commando was, was distance, yeah. It was, it was awesome. That's all I did. Yep. Pissed them off all the time. Made them quit. I was like, hey, you guys, you want to play Modern Warfare? Yeah, okay, good. Let's do this. And you're, 10 minutes, you're stopping? Why? <laughs> Why? Because I want the other team, but okay. <laughs> Pick a noob tube class as well. Oh, my God. Thumper. That's grenade how I launcher. Modern the, only, the only thing the noob tube is good for is when you hit them with the grenade. Yeah. No, no, no. Like the, the new I, one? Yeah. It's I used so to, funny. In Modern Warfare 2, I used to have competitions with my buddy who could get the most grenade launcher kills. I you would ever use a noob that tube. Would, like, that would, impacts that, or explosions? Like... Um, well, we did we did impacts for one game and explosions for another, and we like rotated every game, and we would actually like count. Okay, I got one impact kill. Okay, like you're you're winning, and we would purposely try and get only those kills. If you shot the shot him with a gun or anything like that, <laughs> it didn't, didn't count. count. <laughs> no counting. Stabbed him. No counting. <laughs> Perfect. It was amazing. Absolutely terrible, but amazing. Gun game is wicked. Oh, yeah. I love gun game. Gun game is wicked. I don't know why they don't what include do all these games. Arms games. race and Counter Strike Geo. Is that what it was called? <laughs> yeah, that that is what it's called. Actually, Richio, you were uh, you're the CS player, I, I believe. Dan told yeah. me that. Yes, that's what. You're, I told you're, the, you're the pro at uh, yeah. at Global Offensive. Kind of. Is it Global Offense or Global Offensive? Offensive. Okay. Global, I believe. It's Global CS offensive. Go. Like, Globally offended, actually. <laughs> yeah, but CS Go sounds just as dumb as Nintendo Wii. Like, it makes CS so Geo, bro. CS oh, bro! <laughs> wow, <laughs> is that gonna be the title of the podcast? Yes. There you go. Geo, bro. <laughs> Geo, bro. Um, Counter Stride, Sean. Jesus, <laughs> not that again. <laughs> that made me so happy. <laughs> <laughs> that made me so happy when I saw that in the list. Um. Anyways, on to other stuff. Uh, so apparently, you know, if anybody has been on Steam, they've been seeing the new Valve Greenlight thing. Uh, people have been posting stupid shit like, "Oh, Half Life Three and other stuff, uh, like full on porn game." There games. was one that was just tits. <laughs> yeah, there's a point and click porn game. Yeah. No way. Yeah. So Valve anyone, is, anyone could do it. Yeah. I so, don't understand how you would play that game. You just it, well, it wasn't real shit. It was just like people posting anything they want because anybody oh, okay. could post anything. And yeah. then Valve's like, all right, straight up, if you guys want to do this, $100 to post anything. I remember seeing that, actually. 
But now uh, there's going to be a legitimacy behind what so, people post. So it's like, oh, bad guy Valve. And then Valve's like, but all the money goes to Chance Play. It's like, oh, <laughs> Valve's amazing. That's awesome. So yep. Look at them go away. They're the most adaptive company. Yeah. <laughs> One of the most adaptive out there. So, yeah. Now it's good, kind of, I guess. I don't know. I voted up stuff like Slender Source and um, Slender Source. <laughs> Another Slender game actually built on the Cry Engine 2. Really? This is Crisis 2. The freaking lighting in that game is insane. In Crisis 2? Yeah. Well, no, no, no. In, in the Slender... Uh, do you know what Slenderman stuff is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it's... The way that the trailer starts off, it's like a, a lit bench, and you're like, oh, this is a pretty cool screenshot, and then like he just starts walking forward, and you're like, what the fuck? Is this real light? It's crazy. Just because the lighting, it just... I don't know. The uh, the demo for the... I don't know what... What what engine are they using for Crisis 3? I believe in CryEngine 3. Yeah, like it is CryEngine 3. Yeah, they're just upgrading it. Yeah, like they, they went nuts with that, too. Yeah. It looks impressive. I don't know what the game's going to be like. I haven't really watched any gameplay at all, but I'm a Crisis guy. I like it's it. Cri- yeah, it's Crisis. I actually really like Crisis too. But uh, yeah, too. from what they said is they're just like, they went back to being like, you PC players want to f- melt your PCs? Well, Crisis 3, we're going to do that. Yeah. So, yeah. It's going <laughs> to serve players. as a... You want to set your graphics card on fire. Yeah, it's going to be a, uh, <laughs> definitely going to be a, a benchmark game again. I love how Crisis 1 was always a benchmark game. Yeah. yeah. I want to buy this desktop. Can I play Crisis 1? No, I don't want to buy it. Yeah. I mean, Crisis 2 sucked. It's like, well, I can play four Crisis 1s now. Yeah. So. <laughs> but it's funny because you look, you look at what they actually did with the engine, and all they did was just optimize it so it just runs better. Yeah. <laughs> so people are like, people are shitting, them, shitting on them. Yet, they did everything right by the consumer. Like, they actually, yeah. they served their purpose really, really what, well. What I didn't get is a lot of people were like, oh, Crisis 2, it looks like shit. It's like, no. What are you talking are you, about? Yeah. Did you not play what it on PC, maybe? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I, I know that the, uh, I think the PS3 version was a little bit busted. I, didn't always I remember like hearing that. it and people were like, oh, the 360 version's like. Wait a minute. A, a cross-platform did we talk about the last time the game is how, busted? Did we no, talk about last time that, how Bethesda was that like? Can't no, happen. <laughs> that, that's not a that's not a regular thing. But no, <laughs> did, did we talk about last time how Bethesda on PS3 is officially now like we we can't recreate it? The, the DLC yeah, they on said the that they PS3. Can't do anything. Yeah, it's like yeah. We're yeah. D- nope. They're actually out of answers. They don't know what to like, or I shouldn't say they don't know what to do. They know that they can't do it. Like how different is that game for it to do oh, that? I don't, I don't know, man. I don't think it's Ridiculous. so much that it's different. So much as it is, they just paid more attention. It's easier for them to code on both the PC and the 360. Yeah. So I look Similar. at this and I say, Sony, you know what? I, I like what you guys do, but you're idiots. <laughs> yeah. That's the easiest way to put it. You guys are morons. Maybe. Every, Think every about what Sony's doing, though, with all the exclusives that they have now. Yeah, but that's, God. They have finally... enough IP to make a Smash Brothers game. Yeah, but they're, yep. f- they're only now finally waking up, though, right? Like, think of, look, at, look at their history. They always, all, they always respond reactively as opposed to being proactive. Yeah, always. That is, that is true. Yeah. It's always been their, their MO. It's the way that they handle things, and it's the worst way to do it. It's so horrible. Yeah. Then again, with like the PS2 and stuff still being able to sell, I guess way into the next console generation, they'll probably yeah. still be making the shit ton off the PS3. Yeah, the, it will not just drop off the face of the earth. I mean, Unless it's going to become a super cheap Blu-ray player. Oh, for good. sure. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. And still, I, I still maintain that it's the best Blu-ray player available. Yeah. Just in terms of even, the way that okay. they support it firmware-wise. And the fact it sounds that you can dumb have... even, but like it's even a really good DVD player. The like, yeah. upscaling or whatever it does, yeah. Yeah. it looks fucking awesome. And on top of that, it's an easy multimedia platform. Yeah, yeah. and you can stream Netflix directly off yeah, of it. Like, absolutely. It's... You, can do, you can do the same with the 360. I, I don't think but Netflix you have can for... be said about stuff anymore. Netflix can stream off of any True, true. Yeah. 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 These yeah. fans could probably stream <laughs> Netflix. <laughs> yeah, you want Netflix with that cold air? Deal. But um, keep a lookout. Fans Kickstarter. are gonna be released with little uh, with little hologram projecting <laughs> bulbs in them. They're just gonna shoot Netflix out onto your wall. No, no, it's just like you know they have those lights on the fan blades. And yeah, it just makes pictures. Just makes oh, right. Netflix. <laughs> yeah, just only Netflix. Copyright that one, guys. <laughs> Kickstarter There's a good one. Yeah. There's no. a good one. No, um, no, no. In other news, uh, Ace Attorney Five. So another Phoenix Wright game is actually coming out for the 3DS. I think in North America. That's a first. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah. There's apparently. a change. So. Objection. Ooh. Objection. Objection. Wasn't, um, uh, wasn't he in Marvel vs. Capcom? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he was. Only an ultimate, or I think he's a oh, DLC okay, character. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, it's his ultimate character. And he straight up actually, like, smacks you in the face with law. Yeah, he does. So. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. The things those... His, like, attack is, like, I'm reading this book. He yells copyright, <laughs> and then suddenly your Microsoft points start disappearing. I would get so angry. <laughs> I would get so angry if that was the case. <laughs> I can't believe you guys stealing money from me. <laughs> Jerks. Um, so also, Planet Side 2's NDA also got lifted. Uh, so anybody looking for any gameplay of that, you can probably find streams and stuff. Uh, I have played a bit of the beta. 
it looks really cool. It's not like Planet Side 1 where it's like, oh, it's a huge planet and you're flying everywhere. It's a huge grid, like hexagon grid based map, and you take or, take over each hexagon. Oh, okay. But it's massive. Uh, Sounds serious. So massive, and the beta when I played it was so not popular yet that uh, I kind of just spent like 30 minutes driving around to each point and just capturing and winning everything, and I didn't find a single person. So. Seriously? I don't know what, how that game is, but it's good. It looks and plays fun. It's, I love Planet Side 1, so. Fair enough. It's yeah. pretty badass. So this is a treat for you. Yeah, I know. Well, Planet Side 1 had like matches where it was like a thousand on a thousand on a thousand almost, and just people just shooting the shit of each other to take over a base. Jeez. I'm hoping that can be recreated in, th- in 2. So you know it's a good game you should play, Meg. Oh, I know. I love that. I love that. I love that game. Oh man! I played it for like the first four or five hours of that game with the freaking PlayStation Move too. I was like, this is terrible. I love it. I think I played Killzone Three with a PlayStation Move once. I played, yeah. And I looked at myself and reevaluated my life. <laughs> what am I doing? I hate motion gaming so much. It makes me so angry. Yeah. Yeah. Motion motion gaming belongs in one place and one place only. Preschools. And in the my, bedroom, my grandparents in the bedroom. <laughs> Great, <laughs> motion gaming in the bedroom. You want to? <clears throat> you want to waggle my Wiimote? <laughs> oh my god! Seriously, you're gonna refer to you're gonna refer to your dong as a Wiimote? What? No, I mean, I have a Wiimote. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I wanted to beat no more heroes. No, uh, anyway, <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> what else is in news? Uh, so Armored Kill officially comes out for the PS3. Well, it's out. The fuck is Armored Kill? Uh, Battlefield 3's newest <laughs> map pack. Okay, all right, great, thank you. Uh, it features vehicles and killing and armor and little bit bullets confused. and explosions. A couple of bullets, two bullets. Uh, it will be available on PC Armored and Armored Kill sounds like some sort of sweet Japanese game. Armored Kill sounds like Armored Core. <laughs> you only get three bullets though. Oh, what is the, what is this racist? I don't even. What are you saying, Devin? You, you only get three. I've I've seen. Oh, uh, three vehicles. So anyway, cheap. so it's a, it's larger scale maps, more vehicle focused. Uh, whether it is flying vehicles or tanks, it also includes more weapons. Our vehicles, obviously, maps uh, available now on PS3 and on September 25th for the PS3 and 360. Uh, right. PC and 360. Sorry. I like to fly real vehicles. Like what? <laughs> There's a jet in my backyard. Damn. I can ride my bicycle <laughs> with no handlebars. <laughs> Handy no, bars? No hangy bars? <laughs> hangy bars? My nose is messed shit up, guys. <laughs> uh, uh. In other news, uh, Resident Evil 6's demo that came out for uh, Dragon's Dogma is officially coming out to everyone soon. Yes, we do. So, uh, you, how do you, you guys can feel experience about that? the screen tearing for yourself. Yeah, oh, no kidding. That, uh, that E3 demo was... It was something she that was our dry run too. Oh man, was it, it was brutal. brutal. He's got dragons. The game is really so fun. Recorded it. Yeah, so it was really bad. Screen. It's good. The game is good. Place. It seems okay. fun. Did you uh, hear about? Uh, you hear about it being released in Poland already? What? Oh yeah, that's yeah. right. It got. Uh, it got released. Like, it, like I, I don't even think there was that many copies, but it got released. It's in just Poland. like one store started selling all their stock. Yeah, and so there's like. However many was it like a hundred copies? Yeah, it's something. It's something ridiculous considering that the game's not supposed to. Actually, that when's what's the release October, date? For that? October yeah. something. Is it twentieth? Fifth, sixth. It's yeah. early October. Why do I have October twentieth stuck in my head here? What well, comes out October twentieth? Uh, uh, Torchlight is September twentieth. So what the hell is October twentieth? <laughs> Torchlight isn't even September twentieth. It's September fourteenth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right. It's two days before. <laughs> Well, I don't know, dude. <laughs> what's on October twentieth? I don't I'm know. Gonna, I'm actually gonna check. <laughs> um. Anyway, so the demo is actually out. Wait for it. If it's out in Poland, the whole game. Well, we can get the demo today. We can get the demo today? Yeah, today, actually. If you really September want to. 5th. Guys, breaking news. What? My calendar on October 20th is completely empty. <laughs> you should buy a game on that day. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Is it a Tuesday? Empty. No, it's a Saturday. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> then you should probably end up buying a Nintendo game. <laughs> I, actually, I have no idea why I was looking at... Uh, Looking at October 20th for some Actually, um, for real, I think that's when Pokemon Black and White 2 comes out. Oh, Jesus. Really? If this is right, this is the greatest form of redemption. <laughs> and I, I will expect an apology <laughs> live in front of everyone. <laughs> Fuck that. Um, in other things... You're next. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if you guys ever played the DS horror game Dimension. Yes. Uh, it was, that, was that a, a little like a first-person shooter? Yeah. And you'd use the stylus or whatever to shoot everybody? Yeah. I've, I've never actually played it. I have seen a lot of stuff. I always wanted to play it. Yeah. Uh, anyway, the second one is going to be coming to the PC. No oh, way. Really? So, yeah. That's awesome. hilarious. That's awesome. So, apparently, it's going to be a Steamworks game. Yeah. Will for, well, Steamworks for DRM, and will only be $20. Not bad. Seems coming little, out? Oh. Seems, <laughs> seems a little bit excessive. Yeah. That's some nice wait. looking uh, wait, is it actually concept art. Wait, is is it, does it actually look good? Or is, is, already, is it already out? The concept art looks really good. Okay. 
Is it still going to be on rails? Uh, no, well, the other one wasn't on rails. It was kind of like... I thought it was. I could have sworn that it was on rails. Not I'm pretty sure it was on rails because I, ha I had it for a short time. A cousin of mine lent it to me. It could have been on rails then. I, like <laughs> I sure, said, didn't sure play it. Wasn't it. <laughs> oh, by the way, actually, Dry Run, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to propose that I, uh, I play some Mortal Kombat. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Dan knows. Well, we, we have Let's Plays now, so Dry Runs are for kind of newer games. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So Let's Plays is just to play for the sake of playing? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Plus, we'll probably have other types of Let's Play things. They, they are we'll doing it. Um, so I don't know when Dimension 2 is coming out. They do say it's going to be on $20 and on Steam, so we. Cool. It'll, It'll be kind of interesting to see it hit PC as opposed to hitting the portable market. Yeah. yeah um, interesting. The weird thing is I thought Dimension 2 was actually already out, but... I, I actually forgot about that game Yeah, until me too. you brought it up. I know. I but, don't, uh, don't remember the developer, don't remember anything else. Yeah. So it's kind of cool to see that they're still around. I heard it was good, though, so... Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully um, it's received well. Yeah. In other news, uh, I'm going to keep saying that. Other things happening this week, or whatever. Uh, Valve is considering entering the PC hardware space, not as making a platform, but instead making peripherals. So you're going to get oh, I thought Valve it was a hardware branded. Box. Yeah, no, yeah. that was a uh, that, that was squashed. the last thing. Yeah, they, yeah, said, that was, okay. they squashed that one. Uh, but it's going to be uh, talking about maybe making mice and keyboards and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, they did put out a job posting. Did you hear about their statement though? Their statement was pretty. Uh, it was pretty straightforward. <laughs> yeah, uh, they were like, people haven't been innovating. So yeah, we they were like, yeah, yeah we have people have right not now. been innovating. Yeah. Um. So we want to fill that void that's in the market right now. Yeah. And we're gonna put it some pretty crazy shit. Which let's hope they do because it's. I think it's <laughs> safe to say that, and it's. Uh, I think there's a lot of confidence to be had there where they'll probably do a good job. Oh I yeah. Hope, I hope it'll make just like your keyboard vibrate when new sales happen and you hit one button and it instantly buys like a four pack of it. <laughs> <laughs> four pack of everything. Yep. No, it'll be good. It'll be interesting. What if it just had like a steam ticker on it? It has a ticker, and every ever so often it just rolls by like Half Life Three now out, and you're just like, oh, oh you go check. Oh, they f fuck. God damn it! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> and then just a picture of Gabe pointing, or it's just like Half Life Three playing now on your screen, and just like uh, last thing Gabe Newell. Oh, what's his name? Freaking Walt Whitman. What the hell is wrong? You know <laughs> what Walt are you Gordon saying? Gordon Freeman. Walt, Walt, Walt Whitman. Whitman. <laughs> yeah. Walt, Walt Whitman. <laughs> Gordon Freeman walking by on like a 2D kind of like just pixeled screen on your keyboard, just walking, and then he just dies. I thought I saw the G-Man the other day. <gasps> really? Yeah, it scared the hell out of me. <laughs> you were like, oh what shit. What game were you playing? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this was this was straight up real life. Like oh, I, shit. I was it's beginning. I, the guy looked just like him. Skele I wanted to call him freaking Skeletor or something. Like what he, if Valve just fucking hires people to dress up like the G-Man and just walk around? Well, the per cities. everybody who they make is based on people. Yeah. Uh, the dude who no no it doesn't it doesn't have to look like it. They just, all a fucking Half Life fan has to do is see him like in the distance. To be like, oh fuck! What did, the hell did I just see yeah. just now? And then he just like pieces. Yeah, exactly. He's like, what, what, but no. he leaves his briefcase there. What's in it? That would worry me. A keyboard, actually. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> that would you, what you think they're actually working on Half Life Three? Just silly people. I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a shame if they were working on something really stupid. Yeah. Oh. Ricochet too. Ricochet. Dude, too. I really want that. <laughs> Ricochet is awesome. Ricochet. Forgot about Ricochet. Ricochet is awesome. Uh, anyway, so one other stuff, uh, Dark Souls director said that they might think of making an easier mode for Dark Souls. So in terms of just like a different game mode? Not or? a... Yeah, just like a difficulty, like a, everything, I guess, hits you less, I guess. What next? Are they going to try to come up with friendlier looking assets? I really <laughs> I really <laughs> hope they don't ever make that game easier. Well, it's, I think, isn't it part of the draw? I mean, Yeah, I, I yeah the whole thing of like, you're fucking dead! Like, yeah, I, haven't, I haven't played it, but I mean, I, I know that it's oh, supposed to you, cater to like hardcore. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should that's definitely exactly what it's check for. it out, especially if you like anything RPG-wise. Yeah. Yeah. RPG E wise? Yeah. This, this is an apostrophe What's y? the E stand for? -E -E oh, it's a Y. <laughs> RPG apostrophe Y. Capital you said Y. said RPG E. Yeah, RPG E. Like, it, it's an apostrophe Y. Okay. Like, it's. Again, English English uh, podcast up here, right? It, it's, it's, yeah, you can add some fucking Anyways. tildes to. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Tildes? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> tildes. Um, and other stuff Borderlands 2, the Mechromancer class, should be out by October 16th. Nice. That's going to be DLC, right? Yeah. Yeah, if you pre-ordered it. If is not, there, you have to buy it. Are they planning on adding other classes? Uh, Mechromancer is the only one they're thinking of adding. Okay. Uh, adding also, more. on Steam, you can currently pre-order the Season Pass for $30. It gives you all the DLC, not including the Mechromancer, though. Wasn't there an option for, like, fourteen ninety nine as well? Or am I thinking of a different game? Uh, it's Well, they're $10 maybe on separately. Maybe Gaming. Oh, maybe. But they're, they're, <laughs> they're $10 separately. There's going to be four of them. It's either 40 bucks for each of them individually, like 10 10 10 10 yeah. or, 30 or 30 for all of them. Oh, that's not bad. Um, once again, doesn't include the Mechromancer that's class. A, that's so like a standard season pass. Yeah. yeah, that's that's the whole so, new... Uh, whole once again, I'm going to wait for Green Man on that one. Hopefully. Yeah. 
Do you guys have any ideas of uh, which we talk about Green Man Gaming a lot? On yeah, this yeah, we do. Uh, well, they have tons of sales. <laughs> Did you say any idea of what? Of what we're gonna? What you're gonna? What class you're gonna pick? I'm thinking. I'm looking at zero. I think so far. Yeah. I was thinking of the. Uh, I've looked at shit on that game. I don't even know what's in it. The Gunzerker? Yeah, I was thinking the Gunzerker. Gunzerker's would be... like the jacked guy, right? The yeah, guy just I was rolling thinking I was going to play the Gunzerker. Rifles. Who can taunt by showing middle fingers? Yep. <laughs> so I was thinking strange. I was going to do that. Friends are going to have a blast with that yeah. guy. Yeah. Just for no reason, just run in front of someone's field of view and just give them the finger. <laughs> yeah. Peace. Gotcha. Run away. <laughs> Steal their loot. <laughs> I'm worried about playing Richo's with Richo. good at that. We're going to have fun, at, we're gonna have hey, fun, fun with this. Uh, what you, wait, wait, what game do we play Stealing with? Oh, no, yeah, black, and black, what the fuck? And Borderlands. Not yeah. black How many lands. people can play at a time? Is this still going to be four? Or what? Four, yeah. 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 Shit's going to get really real when they introduce eight people at one time. Oh. <sighs> Wow. Well, the important part is to know that the starting part of the game is apparently as big as the entire Borderlands one. So we is it actually apparently? <laughs> oh Jesus! Holy cow! I have like what? I haven't, like, I haven't the first up... like zone area world thing or something. I don't know. Apparently. Is as big know. as? Wait, am I thinking of a different game? I think I'm thinking, thinking of Dark Siders when they said that. Ah, uh, yeah, I think you are. Yeah, if the I'm first just making stuff up, the first part it's of... gonna have Half Life Three in it. <laughs> it's gonna have Half Life Three in it. Yeah. Borderlands Life. Ooh. Ooh. Um. Yeah, so other stuff. Black Mesa Source officially, yeah, quote unquote, coming out September 14th. The quotes are because, yes, it's out. No, it is not completed. Is it like the first third of the game or something? Apparently. It's just, what is it? It's Half Life Redone. I've correct? never played, yeah, I've never played Half Life fully before, but apparently it said up until the Zen appear. Oh, they man. are not in the game. This is going to be amazing. So. Oh, okay. So all that's in. Well, so, now's, now's your chance if you're if you're interested at all. Now it's probably gonna be a good time. Yeah, I want to actually beat it, so that'll it be out. sweet as hell. Uh, uh, also, th there's a Steam green light for that, actually. Is there? Really? Yeah, Should and there, it's up? still gonna be free. So if yeah, well, it's just to make it appear green light. Then yeah, exactly. But that's gonna make it easier for people to play. Yeah. Um, so that's awesome, as well as, uh, I guess I should mention on a side thing that we don't have actually have posted already, but, um, Natural Selection 2 is now available for pre-order on Steam. It's $25, and you automatically get the digital de deluxe edition, which is, like, I think, um, the soundtrack and all that stuff. Yeah. And there's also cool. four-pack for 80 bucks, I think, so. Save money. Man, they do that stuff a lot. I love four-packs. No, I didn't. <laughs> I love four-packs, though. <laughs> um, they're awesome. Uh, another stuff, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes. Was I it. bought I bought the Metal Gear Solid HD collection this week. Oh really? And I felt like I should actually play a Metal Gear Solid game. How was it? And so I sat down to play Peace Walker. Yeah. Uh, I played for about two minutes and watched an hour of cutscenes. <laughs> so so <laughs> it's like almost no joke. So I played. It does a double tutorial. Sounds about right for a Metal Gear title. Yeah. Yeah. I um just remembered that someone was saying this week uh, that the footage they showed was uh, actually a PC version of it. Or it's playing oh. off a of PC. Oh. oh, that'll be interesting. So I don't remember if it was saying that there's a there's a PC version or if it's just playing off a of PC, but it was playing off a of PC. You know what's oh. funny though? Like the uh, the video that you guys showed me just before we started. Yeah. Like the last minute is more useful than the previous nine. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like it actually. Yeah. I, I was more. I wouldn't have. I can tell you right now, wholeheartedly, I would not have watched that ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, no. I know. It started. And I was like, I wonder at the end if there's gonna be. And I skipped right into it. I'm like, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Done. If you hadn't have shown me, I would have never seen that footage. Um, what's funny though is that uh, well, not funny. You were saying that it looks really awesome. Apparently, it is still slated for the 360 and PS3. I'm spinning all over my phone. I'm drinking too much water. <laughs> Either that or you. Just... has a drinking problem. Was that in water. the press release for Metal Gear? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is that, they, is that what they wrote? <laughs> yeah, it was raining in that game. It was crazy. I'm spinning, <laughs> I'm spitting too much water, please. Just uh, yeah. stop. Guy just starts drooling uncontrollably. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I can watch the story things while I try to clean up my mouth. Oh my god. Um, yeah. I remember. I remember straight up cooking a meal one day while watching. Uh, Did you make eggs as you made eggs? Cup, cut scene. No, I. I made a cup a, scene. That sounds weird. <laughs> of course, you were gonna catch that, huh? Hey, Sonny. It's, oh. it's actually the, that's the little girl. Oh. And, uh, it still oh. makes it terrible. So oh. horrible. It still makes oh. it worse. <laughs> You, sir, are an ass. That was horrible. Didn't mean to. No, I, uh, I straight up cooked like a full chicken meal and everything one day while Metal Gear, while a Metal Gear cutscene was playing. <laughs> I didn't even. I should have just skipped it. <laughs> but instead, I decided to cook a meal. I was just curious. I was wondering, like, you know, is there a way? Can that, I do all of this? Yeah. Is there a way that I can actually prove how useless this is? <laughs> and I did. It makes Good a job. Story. <laughs> yeah, I did. It served its purpose. I got to eat. I want. I don't know why. I just saw this. I hope that like when Tomb Raider comes out, there's like an install. And then you just install it's Tomb Raider smoking. 
I can't say the fucking name. <laughs> just, just stop. <laughs> just shut up. Earth Raider. Earth Raider. Earth Raider. Guardian Light. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it for news stuff that we had planned. <laughs> That we had planned. Planned. <laughs> Comes Fuck up it. right at the last like half hour of our <laughs> of our discussion. Yeah. Maybe maybe we should focus on making a structure behind the news. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> no. <laughs> Get new here. <laughs> Get a vote. Uh, I'm, I'm not a shareholder yet. Not a shareholder. <laughs> not until you give me hundred ninety thousand dollars. Yeah, for your stupid Kickstarter. Hey. There's million gonna... dollar idea. Bet, um, bet, bet that I'll beat you in StarCraft. EA boss officially you vows. Probably will. <laughs> EA boss officially vows to not publish any games with only single player components from now on. Jeez. Wow. So that's not happening. Oh yeah, the Last of Us extended demo came out. Video. Cool. Looks that's right. That was like right before we. Yeah, had, it was just a couple hours back. There was more shooting. It was good. What do you? How do you guys feel about that? I was. I'm excited. I'm actually really excited. I should stop watching videos for it. That's what I think. <laughs> well, I look at it and I say like, I understand that they're trying to take a different approach. From, yeah. a, from the perspective of they don't want to do uh, Uncharted anymore. Yeah. But at the same time, I look at it and I'm like, man, like this is very much in the vein of it. It's just oh, a different tone. It, it yeah. truly is, but they're taking everything that they couldn't put into the not happy-go-lucky Uncharted, but... Are you kidding? Uncharted is very happy-go-lucky. Yeah, right. <laughs> That's your neck. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, they're taking everything that they couldn't put into that and putting it into this. So it's going to be yeah, edgy. Even then, like, they had, they had <laughs> so many releases where they were like, yeah, we want to get away from Uncharted for a while, see what else we can do. Yeah, that's true. But You picked a third-person game. But this one apparently is like <laughs> got wet. heavy on emotional. Yeah, emotional it's, it's, like, like it's The gritty. only reason, as we've seen so far, yeah. as to why the, the child is there is to actually humanize the person you're playing as. Yeah, well, they say that do, he's got like a dark past. You now. do like the most terrible shit to those people who attack you. Yeah. Like, but what? what like they haven't. Them. Have they shown any footage with the crazy mushroom guys yet? Mm, actually, apparently this one ends with one of those like busting in your face or something. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> one uh huh. One of those guys busting in your <laughs> face. <laughs> that's that's the way that you're gonna. <laughs> podcast, <laughs> podcast is done. <laughs> <laughs> what was I supposed to say? But that like they're. <laughs> <laughs> well oh. done, dude. Well done. Oh. So, what, what, but what's the deal with these guys? Like, they actually... Bust. I don't know it's the... It's a fun guy. It's crazy. It's, there's a, <laughs> it's just, it grows they're, out of they're, just fun fun, they're just fun guys. It grows out of their face. <laughs> they go fun guys they're and they bust guys. in faces and it spreads. <laughs> they spread. Oh. <laughs> Last of us. <laughs> yeah. Because they had them in the, uh, the first... We're done here. <laughs> the first, Unity uh, podcast. So. No. <laughs> the first, the first release, right? The first footage that they showed yeah. off, they had them. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, it was, yeah. And then they didn't the, really the show initial anything. reveal trailer. Yeah, yeah. When, when they were like, "Yo, this is crazy." Psst, that was gameplay. Or that was in game. It was like, oh. Everyone was like, oh. Yeah, that's when people's minds were blown. Yeah, and and was there was busting wasn't everywhere. It? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And then, then we saw Watch Dogs, and it was like, oh. I was Watch Dogs though. Uh, uh, did you watch that trailer? For yeah. The okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Making sure. <laughs> and then I, I never really followed up with it. Like I yeah, never it's really not did. Yeah, it's, it's there's not nothing else from next. Yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Uh, uh, we have this uh, this new IP we would like to show you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, so did you guys? Okay, this is something random that I just saw. I was just checking from some last minute stuff. Uh, did you guys hear of the Oblivion mod that went Skyrim, which was supposed to be a Middle Earth mod that came yeah. out? Oh yeah, yeah, that, that got shut down. Assist. Yeah, so that got cease and desisted, but apparently now Jeez. it's not fully dead yet, and they're like still trying to fight stuff and see what they can do. Uh, but they officially said like they don't want to have to change characters, they don't want to change anything because then what's the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not gonna do them any. Maybe favors. they could get bought out. So, but I can't believe they've been working on the thing for like six years now, and, and then it's just like at down. this last minute, not last minute, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty far if it's six years. And now yeah. they're like, oh, oh yeah, we don't want that. We can you stop? That's <laughs> horrible. What? It's a lot of work that they put into that. Yeah, too, yeah. So. just scrapped a yeah. lot of assets that are just now useless. Yeah, which sucks. Yeah, yeah, not good. Yeah, however, hopefully they were, they they find a way to turn it around or make use of it in another another fashion. Who knows? Yeah, yeah we'll see. It'll be in some it, something interesting. Kickstarter fashion. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> That's a lot of legal stuff. Yeah, no kidding. I'd rather go with the, like, cutting off of fingers with my jet saw and belt. Oh, this happened with my genitals. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so anyway, this week in releases. Ooh, that's a segue into re- week, week releases. <laughs> week releases? Okay, anyway, this week in releases. Oh uh, on the 360, we have Mark of the Ninja, uh, which is a PSN, a PSN, Xbox Live Arcade <laughs> title. On the 360, we have something on the PSN. <laughs> um, anyway, it's apparently by the people who made Shank. 
Yeah. Okay. That's about all I know. Well, they, it's they, an actual title. Wasn't Shank perceived really, really well? Like, didn't it yeah. end up doing a lot of great things? It yeah, felt it good. It looked good, but it kind of got boring real quick. Oh, okay. It was just repetitive, I guess. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And they made Shank 2. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Never played it, but I heard it was fun. But, bleh. Uh, so another stuff, Modern Warfare 3 getting a map pack or something, or it's on PSN. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said earlier. Like, what? <laughs> Good. Uh, Modern Warfare 3 getting map pack or something. <laughs> closure coming Don't to the PC. Don't give a fuck. <laughs> closure coming to the PC, which is originally a PSN title. Uh, I think that's the thing with lights. How was it? I'm not sure yet. I'm waiting for the PC release. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in the same boat. It's in fact the game about light, where you can't see, what you can't see does not exist. So you put light on stuff to see it to platforms. It's cool. It's great. It's kind of like, um, is it like Limbo? Kind of. It looks like, like it's black that, and white. Yeah, it's from, like from duck an one. Yeah. Swan. Swan. Uh, unfinished Swan. Unfinished Swan. Kind of, but this is two D platforming. It's like Braid meets Limbo meets Lights. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> so there's that. Awesome. Um, Dead it, Lights. Oh no, that game I still haven't beat. It's kind of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I tried to give the that rat game knows everything. I tried to give yeah, that game as much love as I could, and I tried to push and keep going and f- fuck everything that has to do about the rat character. I'm out. <laughs> um, I still want to finish it. But anyway. Uh, anyway, so something called Kung Fu Strike: The Warriors Rise is coming out for the Xbox Live Fucking Marketplace. Yeah. <laughs> what? Dan's a fan. <laughs> Why is Dan so excited? Kung I'll tell you. Fu Strike. Dan. Dan. <laughs> what was Dan. the rest of it? <laughs> the Warriors Rise. There's a colon yeah. in the middle. Dan, we need to watch some terrible kung fu movies again together. Yeah, there's no such thing as a terrible kung fu movie. That's actually true. You're yeah, right. well, yeah, we it's used to watch them. We used to watch it's them between pieces. Um, <laughs> uh, what else? What else? There's oh, so PSN's getting House of the Dead Overkill, which is sweet. They used to be a Wii game that you could uh, shoot things. Now you can shoot things on the 360. Oh, PS3. Fucking shit! <laughs> it's, on, it's, <laughs> it's on the PS3 uh, now, and uh, it will be. Uh, or actually, it's already out. So everything uh, was out on the Wii, and then they realized how stupid it was, so they re-released it on real consoles. Sorry, yeah. Nintendo fans. <laughs> wow, you just but, fuck call. you. <laughs> Speaking of the word fuck, House of the Dead Overkill apparently won an award for the most fuck in a game. I don't understand. F-bomb. The most sex or the most no like, dro- f drop on. Did okay. Mafia oh, Two oh, beat it? F- yeah, I thought uh, Mafia Two was. Yeah. I forget. I think actually that's true. So it did own the award at some point. Man, I miss my Super Nintendo. Um, Sims I've 3. got mine in the trunk of my car. Sims 3 Supernatural. What the hell do you have in the trunk of your car? I don't. I think this is a bad thing to go into. Yeah, probably. Sims 3 Supernatural <laughs> kills okay. things and puts them in the trunk of Devin's car. Um, yep. As well as everyone sing for the 360, <laughs> PS3, and Wii. Uh, followed up. What the fuck? Okay, never mind. Sorry. It says followed up by Suzuki TT Superbikes Real Road Racing Championship. Fuck yeah! PS2 game for the PS3. You know what game was really really great? Yeah. The Yaris game. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you guys remember yeah, that. I still yeah, have it. Download that. I still have it. Yeah, it's not available anymore. I don't nope. have it. I want to go back and get all the achievements. Um, <laughs> as well as Dogfight 1942 for the Xbox Live Marketplace. And Birds of Steel for the Xbox like Live Marketplace. Marketplace. As well as Cabela's Adventure Camp for the Xbox Live Marketplace. And Glee for the Xbox Live Marketplace. And something for WP7. Could you Windows Phone 7. Galaga Legions DX. Anybody own a Windows phone? No? Great. Have you guys ever owned a Windows phone? No. Oh. I, they look cool. Aren't they like aren't they undergoing like some ridiculous like crazy overhaul? That's for the Windows sure. 8 Metro phone. Yeah, and like they've got I, I remember reading the uh, like the ridiculous release line in terms of just game titles and whatnot. And oh yeah, they've got some crazy stuff. Yeah, like they've got, they've got a lot of re- like really legit titles coming right at launch. So it seems like it's actually gonna be received pretty well and I'm yeah. sure there are gonna be people who are gonna buy it. Oh yeah. for sure. We'll um, see how it goes. So other than that, next week, if you want to hint at stuff, FTL, what Dan was talking about, coming out. Uh, yeah, it is. Out <laughs> uh, yeah, next, next, September 14th. It's <laughs> 10 bucks, right? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. Um, Steam and good old games. As well as some other stuff that maybe we should hint at, such as Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Double Dragon Neon, I'm Live, Joe Danger 2, the movie. I hope they call it T4. That's it. Yeah? Yeah. TTT Square. People would just... I don't know. I think people would love that. People would get so happy. Yeah. T4. So or that, or TT Squared. That's so not bad. TT Squared. Titty Squared. Titty Squared. TT Squared. How I like them. Actually, I don't like Squared. Anyway, point is... Uh, so that's it for releases, which brings us into... We have, I think, some viewer questions. Oh, wow. Well, this one. Right. Oh, this will be interesting. Uh, this is going to be horrible. These are always good, man. <laughs> This is going to be horrible. We have one that we can't fully actually answer. 
And what's uh, that? It says, what are your guys' thoughts? So this is from In Space uh, on Twitter. He says, what are your guys' thoughts on Armored Kill, the new Battlefield 3 DLC? It's currently out for premium PS3 users. Sounds uh, sweet because it adds more crazy to Battlefield Do you guys like crazy. tanks? What are your guys' thoughts on tanks? I think yes. it's going to be incredibly... Tanks suck, uh, Jets rule. Yeah, yeah, there's Jets also. Well received. Um, did any of you guys play the Close Quarters DLC for Battlefield 3? I did Excuse not. Me? Play Battlefield 3? Okay, well, no. I played it, and that DLC made me really enjoy that game for the weekend that I played it. <laughs> um, so, Armored Kill might do it. It's not going to be for me, however, because the worst thing... Call me retarded, but... The worst thing I hate about Battlefield is the vehicles, because I like the infantry combat, and then you're like, oh, I want to be a medic. Now there's a tank. I am <laughs> fucked unless I have friends. So. Just throw syringes at the tank. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I will hop you up on meth. So do you, do you just meth, prefer, like, I guess you just prefer the land combat? Yes, I, I really like that. Or I guess forget land, you prefer the foot combat. The foot combat, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's why uh, all my points are in engineering, because there's the only uh, way I can deal with anything. They have a lot of really close quarters maps, though, don't they? Yes, in close quarters, or well, you, no, no, like, you, I mean, you, you could actually turn off the the vehicles and yeah, and play on the small version of the map. Oh, okay, so okay, that, yeah. that worked. But uh, yeah, all my favorite ones were all the like actually rural crazy maps. Rural, rural, <laughs> rural, <laughs> rural, 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 rural. My nose is intense right now. Um, rural. But yeah, so stuff like uh, the huge map with the yeah. Caspian border. I didn't like that stuff mm -hmm. at all. So I, uh, yeah, armored kill might not be for me. I what have we got? I have Battlefield on the PC because I pre-ordered Mass Effect. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Because I, I, <laughs> I guess. Now I've heard the conclusion to that story. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> my 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 biggest beef with with Battlefield on the PC is the fact that it has to be launched through a browser. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I cannot tell you guys how angry that makes me. Yeah, it's not so too bad, but it's yeah, so unnecessary. Uh, it 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 now makes me realize that I have premium on Battlefield, so I'm gonna be able to play Harvard Kill no yeah. matter what. <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you in space. Tune into one of my broadcasts. <laughs> I'll let you know. Um. That actually might be it for questions. I don't know if anybody in the chat actually has any questions for us. <laughs> Sarge, uh, Sarge, uh, Sarge yeah, question. we did have one. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll read this one out for Kumar. Uh, when is the next Harold and Kumar movie? I uh, wow. I haven't actually discussed this with Harold completely just yet, but uh, there's also. Do you know anyone named Harold? I actually worked with a with a Harold while I was at the Apple Store. Oh God! Uh, <laughs> and to prove this, I have I have a picture. Of you and Harold? Of myself and Harold holding our name tags up. Oh, that's oh awesome. Because God. there were, you know, time and time again, people would come in, and there were instances where people would, because I worked sales and Harold worked service, mm -hmm. so it was a beautiful relationship that we had because whenever someone needed service help, I'd bring them to Harold. <laughs> so they'd ask, you know, they'd be like, hey, you know, like my, my iPhone's not working or, you know, my, my MacBook's, my MacBook hasn't been working the way it should. I'm like, okay, perfect. Just follow me right this way and I'll get you in touch with Harold. And I've had people just stop and look at me thinking that I was... Messing I was with just, them? Yeah, I was just messing with them. <laughs> and then sure enough, I bring them over, and he's like, hey, thanks, Kumar. And they're like, what? <laughs> and so the guy is legit. He actually works at the store. That's awesome. Like I said, I have I have pictures. But further to this question, uh, that's uh, it's not information that I can disclose just yet. <laughs> okay. uh, we're, we're not talking we're, about yeah, we're in, Harold we're yet. In, we're in talks with, uh, with Mr. Neil Patrick Harris on, on a couple of cameos that we're hoping he'll be able to fill. But uh, as you can imagine, his schedule is quite busy, and uh, just coordinating filming and whatnot is uh, proving to be a little bit of a timely sort of or a, a time consuming endeavor matter yeah so we, you know well, I'll, go, I'll get back to you now, so now I'm not a professional on these types of things but Cameo was a pretty good game and if New Patrick Harris is going to be doing anything with that it's going to be pretty sweet yeah <laughs> Will he be transforming into like a rock person or possibly a uh, punching bag plant? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Games! <laughs> Pokemon? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Cameo was a launch title for the Xbox. Yeah. My uh, my phone currently has 1% battery, but oh. what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to send this picture to, to Dan right now <laughs> nice. so that he can share it with the group. Uh, we have a request to all go at the end of the podcast. Go <laughs> as we end it. All right. Is there another question? Uh, that is it so far. We have pictures that I will have to show Kumar after, apparently. Somebody right. drew you. Someone's drawn me. Wow. Oh, I, we, we opened that. We opened it? Earlier. Okay, yeah. good. Dan, just in case this doesn't send through, I'd just like to show you. It's real. Dan is, Dan is witness. I'm, I'm showing him right now. Yeah, uh, H. And it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> nope, hang on. I'm, uh, I'm actually going to message this to him right now. Nice. Let's see if this, let's All see right, this well, I think that's actually going to do it for the podcast, though, for this week. Uh, that's actually a pretty decent one. Very yeah, nice. Very lengthy, and it was packed full of good stuff, and... <laughs> It'll probably, <laughs> it'll probably stick with me for a really long time. 
and I hope it does for everybody too. <laughs> um, anyway, it's for the, so for the ending kind of spiel. Um, to everyone who's listening, if you're listening to us on iTunes, don't forget to review the podcast or rate us. All that stuff helps. Make sure you comment and like on the YouTube page. Leave questions on the, the either on our Twitter. Send us an email at podcast at unitygaming.com, I believe. Um, Check out the website. Yeah. Unitygaming.com. Leave questions on the video, everything. I just said that, didn't I? Yep, you did. <laughs> I thought I only said the podcast. No, no, the email. Whatever. <laughs> and, um, you know, comment if you want Kumar back on. Yeah, it was fun sure. having him. <laughs> I, know I think this is, this is a dangerous game. Yeah. <laughs> this is a dangerous game we're opening up for these guys. Yeah. And just so Scarlet doesn't leave, uh, Dan, why you no put your hands above your, on your head? <laughs> so no one can see us on the audio podcast, but his hands are currently on his head. head. Um, yeah. So what else? Uh, check out uh, some new dry runs. Check out some Let's Plays, which will be going out soon. <laughs> and um, what else? There is something else that we wanted to... Uh... You guys do Twitter plugs at all? Or? Uh, we, yeah, sure. If you have yeah. something, if you want a Twitter plug, go for it. If you have anything you'd like to plug, go for it. Oh, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I, I figured I'd, I'd bring it up if you guys forgot. If you, if you guys like Twitter, follow me. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, follow us on Twitter at, uh, at eunitygaming.com. Not com. Fuck, it's not com. Stay in the website. Anyway, yeah, so at eunitygaming. <laughs> Um, you can follow us each personally, but we have all that in the description below on I and YouTube. <laughs> on, <laughs> eyes and, so, eyes so and YouTube. I think, clearly I'm tired. I think before Riccio <laughs> passes out on his keyboard, I guess we'll end this here. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for listening, everybody. If you guys enjoyed it, let us know. Check all that stuff out. <laughs> have yourselves a great morning, afternoon, middle, night, poop, drive, <laughs> <Wow>. run. <laughs> Um, scoot, if you scoot, if you scooter, I don't know, there might be some scooters out there. <laughs> of um, all the ways you could have closed this off. <laughs> uh, I'm Rijo. I'm Sompy. I'm Dan. I'm Kumar. And, uh, take care, everybody. Cheers, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're such losers. <laughs> <laughs>